A bear life me. Said LOL. Don't wait, wait. It'd be funny if he just like came right back down and crashed. <laughs> You know how when you pull like the legs off a cockroach and it starts running in a circle? I think that's kind of where I'm at right now. Pretty sure that's where I'm at. 15,000 merits. So yes, you were correct. It takes more than 15,000 for a six hour uh, sentence. So it's like probably 20,000. All right, I'm gonna take a short pee break. I'll be right back. I don't think I snipped this. CTT Omega King said, yeah, the different alien races use slightly different QT tech, so the effect is different. Did I get it? <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Take them with me. I don't give a shit. I'll take them with me. Probably should have taken that. Up. Okay. We got credit though. We should have finished the mission. I did upload. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless it didn't count it. That wasn't necessary. Said, well, it very much depends on what game play loop you want to participate in. That it does, that it does. Let me out! Fuck you! Goddamn hostiles! It's like hell! Never being able to leave the hospital? Jesus. Or DY. Said gotta pay the bill first. Seriously? Appreciate you. If you want to join us, let me know. Make my app. Go play this game. Assuming you've got stuff. If you don't, you know, it's fine. It's pretty easy. Hyperspaceindustries.com.
pair of rhyme. Said ouch. Pair of rhyme. Said yeah this is it. Zephyr. Said wow you are great at fast landing lol. Never see me do it in DU. <laughs> Are you at Tressler or on Area 18 itself? Uh, I'm on Area 18 itself, yeah. Okay. I'm just moving over to the, uh, the actual flight okay. deck hangar thingy. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I saw that. Saved, Chili. I made a promise, I kept it. Now to finish the job. Okay, why does it keep resetting me? That's not cool. Right, it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Holy heart attack, Batman. Holy heart attack. <laughs> I was just looking at it like, that guy wasn't there before. Come on, let me the fuck in. Pair of rhyme. How come I can't Said jump? nothing that flex tape can't solve. Great. How the fuck can't I jump? I'm on a planet with like what low gravity, low gravity, and I can't jump. What is that mess up? Not the hangar we're in. We need to go.
all day trap. Said oh no. Old ma. Pair of rhyme. Said and here we go again. Got him too, though. Totally got him too. There was no way that uh, Cutlass Black was able to survive a collision. They do not survive collisions. Wait, fuck, son of a bitch, can't see the goddamn thing was right from fuck, wait, goddamn fuck, oh, piece of shit, bridge Star Trek replicator, so I ain't gonna fucking dig for shit in the fridge. Be like, computer, give me a fucking milkshake. <laughs> I do just look at me like, what the fuck? is going on. Welcome to Star Citizen. I was actually broadcasting in a new world. I just gave their pilot a heart attack, I'm sure. <laughs>
Stop rolling the dice and just compromise. It's the chance of your life. This is and take my advice. Stop pulling the dice and just compromise. It's the chance of your life. Yeah, there it is. Okay, try to be brave. You have so much to say. Take control of it. Found it. All right, audio. Next thing. time it like recesses shit i don't know why it doesn't save it windows we'll go with that probably a little bit warmer than i actually am but you know what that is the miracle of lighting right one of the advantages I think it looks okay. We can live with that. We can live with that. As long as y'all can live with that, I can live with it. Right, so. Sunday night. Bit early on a Sunday night. Much early on a Sunday night. Let's see. And I need to fix that before I forget because some reason, I don't know why, but audacity is affecting my Google um, sound. That hiccup was me opening audacity, but... No, it's uh, it's lowering my microphone volume to whatever I set it to in the system on a restart. It defaults it down. And that's kind of obnoxious. Like if I was running at 30% in Audacity, it takes my system microphone down to 30%. Windows, right? I need to get an actual mixer and shit. You'd get a mixer and shit. Any hey, let's do this right. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night. Welcome to the night shift where we're bridging that gap between yesterday and tomorrow. Tonight we're doing Star Citizen, like usual. Um, I swear to God, at some point we will change. Um, I really do like this game. I spent the whole day yesterday playing Bannerlord until my back gave out. And by gave out, I couldn't like stomach it anymore and I had to go to bed but uh that's why we didn't stream the last couple days yeah we got an ad coming so let that play in a minute So, 3.18, uh, Persistent World-ish, um, mostly, 
cargo refactor, salvaging, well, whole salvaging is all you can salvage. You can't salvage, like, anything major, but, you know. Hull. H-U-L-L, -L, not whole. Whole salvaging. <laughs> I don't even know what whole salvaging is. Is that like wholesale salvaging? No. When do we get trench? Do we, are there trench coats like that? I want one of those jackets. Hey, hey, where can I get your jacket? Damn armistice zone. I'm gonna clobber with a hot dog. Steal her jacket. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Welcome. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Alright. Um. Hmm. I think. I think the audio is okay. Unless the microphone's a little bit loud, but I don't think it is. I think it's about. It's good. Good, good, good. I need to take out that long stream part because I don't know if it's gonna be a long stream. I'll say that, but I don't want to like, I don't want to like lock myself into something unless it happens. Like, eh. Anyhow. Okay, so the plan, the plan. Oh, yo, what is the plan? Um, well, I guess we're going to start with what we normally do. And uh, like usual, if you care to join me, I am in Discord. I think the audio is as good as it's going to get, so we're going to go ahead and switch over off the monitor headset. If I need to address something, let me know. Mm. Alright. Giddy up, little doggy. Might be a little orange. Only when I get next to the screen. Okay, that's what it is. It's a little hot, though. It's a wee bit hot. It's a bit light. Might be a little bit off. I don't know. Lighting was never my. Actually, it was my strong suit. <laughs> Damn it! I can't use that as an excuse. <laughs> All right. Um. Destroyed. I legit don't remember what the last thing is that I did yesterday. I think my brother and I were trying to do some salvage stuff. But I thought. Has been sent. Please visit us again. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay. 
See, this doesn't make any sense. Your insurance claim has been sent. Please visit us again. Goodbye. All right, well, uh, let's see. We're here. We need to set the audio because the game audio is incredulously loud. Roll ads. An NPC is walking in place. That should still. I mean. Now, this one's interesting. I want to do a documentary. We're going to. We're going to explore the space stations of Staten, and we're going to observe all the wild NPCs in their natural environments. And this one, as you can see, is a little bit, uh, canted. Not sure why, but, uh, whatever. Moving on. What else do we have? Well, this guy found himself a little treadmill, even though the floor doesn't move. So this guy this guy's walking super fast. Now look at this. He's got a very, very quick, with a purpose gait, as you can see here. And, uh... Let's see. It looks like he leads with his knees, right? Like, I think... I think he's leading with his knees. So, like, people walk differently. Some people lead with their thighs, some people lead with their knees, some people lead with their toes, some people lead with, like, their fucking, like, their, the arch of their ankle and shit. Like, how they walk, right? This guy. This guy's got, like, this little fucking saunter going on, right? Like, check this out. Like, this guy's just like, yeah, don't fuck with me. But he doesn't have a gun. He's walking pretty cocky and confident for someone without a weapon. All right, let's go look at this guy, how he's walking. So this guy... This guy may even be a little bit more... I'm not sure if they're the same. I don't think so. I think this guy is almost like more casual. <clears throat> like the other dude is like, I mean, he's more controlled and concise. And this dude's more like casual strolling with like long strides. I guess you could really check by measuring like the gate there. It's just like, what is it? It's a... Uh... Uh, let's see. I have a ruler somewhere. I could actually measure the gate. That's too much, though. It's probably about the same. Maybe. I don't know. Just interesting, though, that, like, I didn't notice it at first, but the different NPCs do walk differently. Or at least, they don't all walk the same speed. Maybe it's not necessarily differently. Yeah, I think maybe it's just different speeds. Doesn't seem like the three of those guys. Maybe... I don't know. Like, you could really actually, like, slow it down and overlay it and do all that fancy shit or have really good eyes, and I probably don't have any of that, so... It is whatever. I want your trench coat. 
I'm gonna murder you for your trench coat. Damn it, Armistice. You're lucky. You're lucky. Now, this guy's walking pretty fast, too, though. You look like a serial killer, brah. Shit, no you don't. I can't say that, because... That's like... It's like jeans and... Is it a flannel? Yeah, jeans and a flannel. Two-tone flannel. Wait. No. It's like an arm... Sleeve. Sleeve. It's like a... Like an arm warmer? Is that accurate? Yeah, he's wearing a flannel shirt and an arm warmer. God damn it. Yeah, because I got those types of shirts with the buttons and shit. But the sleeves, that's... that's cool. Dangles bar. No cover. Alright, let's see what else we can observe. What else can we observe and report? So that guy's trying to do the step in. Yeah? Yeah? She looked at me funny. Was that the eyes? Are those the eyes? Is that what you're looking for? I, I, I don't get out much. I wouldn't know. Spend way too much time playing shit like this. Go figure, right? What? You, you play video games and, and, and you're single? Of course. Duh. Not a version, but I'm single. Big difference. <laughs> you thought you had me. You. Uh. What's up, dude? Not even gonna acknowledge me? I. It's all good. It's all good. Intoxicated. Did I not switch this over yet? I did not. I did not. For that one. <clears throat> right. Not done yet. Are we ready to go? We may actually uh, switch this up later and, and maybe do some Mountain Blade or something, I don't know. Had a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, been different feel lately. Like, not differently different, because obviously this is kind of like... We're waiting for this to come out. It, it, it's really fucking close, though. I think this is really close. Like, aside from like the known issues and bugs still needing to be fixed and shit, like... Stability right now is as long as they don't keep it up. <clears throat> they don't keep messing it up. It's actually pretty pretty solid right now. It's a uh, I think it's more solid. <laughs> I just I just told them that the game was better. <laughs> Why? Why? Fuck! But you still have that. I know. I know. But they're... They're working on it. Uh, 
just don't walk out into that because whatever doesn't kill you make you lost in space. Remember, this is the PTU, a test version. This is an early test build and not indicative of gameplay content on the official live servers. That's what PTU means. And yes, there are... There are known issues about floating objects in the hangar bays and such. Um, in fact... It might blow me up on the way out. I don't know, that's why I opened the back door. Just to be on the safe side, if you know what I mean. Um. They, um... The hamsters were on break, apparently. Right, so we're on uh, a different planet. We haven't done this planet yet. We haven't done missions around this planet yet. So I have no idea what we're going to get. But it does look like we've got a jump 890 in progress. We have an 890 jump in progress. Uh, calling all uh, 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 mercenaries. Over. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was going to kill me or not. Let's go play! Or not. Wait. There's Cargo Refactor. And he just blew up like right in there. Where'd he die? That's not where I came out of, I don't think, was it? No. Medical rescue. Who needs a medical rescue? Not even sure if I can, to be honest. I may or may not. I got a boarding progress. Uh. Alright. Boarding process. doesn't look like it's giving me anything, so we're going to refresh the mission. Track, track. There we go. Okay then, was not expecting that, but here we go. <clears throat> around the world, around the world. Oh.
And of course, you have to actually power off to do that. So dumb. So dumb. Only to have to do this. Because I couldn't hit this from the other side, but I could hit it from here. It, it, don't ask me. I just play the damn thing. Right, so a lot of times we will have to deal with baddies. Go and drop that out. Don't see any baddies though. So it looks like... Looks like it's just the jump. Nope, oh, there they are. There they are! Hey boys! Girls. Children of all ages. Oh, you're too far out, my bad. Take it home, baby. Bye bye. Right. Is he done yet? Jesus. Well, that was suck. Said got you a cutty black I see. Oh, I started with the cutty black, but yeah, how you doing, Killjoy? Killjoy. Said doing well. Distraction. Yeah, I forgot I was in a dog fight. <laughs> Is your malfunction, bro? My guns aren't good enough. That's what my malfunction is. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Cuddy versus Cuddy Black. Shit. So that's not a Cuddy Black, I don't think, is it? 
Nope, not anymore. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Oh wait, right, these are can be scrapped. Said it's a cutty boom. Cutty boom, <laughs> right? Hey, hey, wait, no, get back here. Get back here. Whoa, that's the cutty. I'm the asshole. You shot me first. Prickly bitch. Quit distracting me. God, I love gimbals. Fuck you! <clears throat> that was fun. <laughs> uh, all that effort. Killjoy. Said kaboom. That's what we call a double cutty boom. A double cutty boom. Killjoy. Said lol. I knew that wasn't going to end well. You can't ram anything with a, a cutlass black and expect it to survive. It just doesn't happen. I am curious though. Okay, yeah. I got a corpse. Sweet. I got a corpse. Yeah, buddy. We can go get our shit back. And the fact of the matter is, is we, we completed that part of the task. So now we just go and loot it. Right? Like... I got a drink vulture. That's what the vulture's for. Now we go and scalvage it. Scalvage it. Scalvage it? Scalvage. I'm a scalvager. Arr. All right. Do you play Killjoy? You should come join me. Got a, uh... I don't say I've got, but I... I may be getting a hankering to want to do some piracy. Killjoy said I haven T played since ah. early 317. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, this is 318 on the PTU, so it's the new new. Killjoy said but I started in 263. Oh wow. Fair enough. Okay. No. Killjoy. Said I'm waiting for the 318-1 patch lol. That's what this is. I decided that farming in the uh, 317 was just kind of silly, so... Said I have learned my way around SIG development cycle. Fair enough. Okay, but this is unusual, from what I understand. It doesn't usually take this long. So. From what I've been told, I don't know. Joy said salvaging mechanics will validate a lot of piracy gameplay so I'm looking forward to it well so it's not even the the salvaging is not even the biggest part of this though like that's what I think people are are lost on and not realizing is that obviously people who know know right I'm not trying to like say well if you don't know you don't know but no if you know you know but salvaging dude that's not even it's the uh, the, the cargo factor, or refactory, or whatever, refactoring of the cargo. Like, basically making shit, uh... Killjoy. Said yes. Like, that. That is insane. Like, when I... Because I was, like... I was looking at it, and then I realized Killjoy. that the containers the and shit... Loot boxes don't yeah. Vanish instantly. 
Exactly. Or after an hour of having them. Yeah, that's... We learned that the hard way. I was running with my brother and stuff, and then he logged out, and I think he created the loot box. And so... Yeah. The loot box just ran away. Boop! Said knowing SC, they will still not work for some reason, lol. Yeah, but... Not trying to talk over the engines. Not that I really want to do that when I'm. Killjoy. Said I don't play very nice in SC. I spend a lot of time in Clusher. I, uh. Can't say I blame you. Where the fuck is my beacons? Okay, they need to fix that. Should not have to open that menu to clear that. Alright. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, that's it's fine. As annoying as some of this shit is, though, I won't deny that there is a bit of... They all fell to the planet. Right, I gotta go finish this mission. Go finish this mission and then I'll go collect my loot. Assuming it's still there and it's not in an illegal spot. Go get my loot back and then go to Clusher because I was standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, it says I'm in UEE district, but uh, clearly the crime stat, stat, the crime sat is off. So, uh, yeah, see, not very good, see. Oh shit! The lights on this thing are horrible. They're god awful horrible. Like, look at this. Like, I'm supposed to be able to, like, see shit with this thing and, like, scavenge shit, but, like... Like, look at this! Like, look at these lights! They're fucking horrible! Oh, somebody's shooting some shit. Killjoy said this is a fun mission. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one and I like the uh, data breach and uh, the um, package one in the um, 890. Not the 890. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Killjoy. 
said there is a criminal one where you have to go and thaw out some criminals that are in stasis on a caterpillar. I haven't done that one yet, that sounds fun. God, this is gonna okay. suck! Said that one is really good. Yep, I didn't expect to get very far, but I didn't expect to get like stuck right off the bat either. Leave home without a spacesuit, kids. Uh, shit. Killjoy. Said damn ad popped up. Ah, you missed it. Well, let me clip it for you. Like, there it is, yeah. I don't know. This table is a triangle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Killjoy said LOL. I'd have been fine had I uh, at least done that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh man. They need like a quick outfitter near the shuttle port, like so you don't have to go all the way to the floor, like a little kiosk, right? Like. You know, I don't know. I just feel like a, a dude with a kiosk set up in the corner that sells like black market outfits and shit just Welcome would fit here. I don't know why. System. Maybe. Where are the rentals at Bajini? What can I rent here? Can I not rent here? Does this station not have any rental ships? Oh, I guess most stations don't have rental ships, huh? That... That's not actually surprising. Halt the transmission. Yeah, that's not happening. Killjoy. Said think it's just main planetary stations. Welcome. Yeah, I think you're right. Killjoy. To the Said our corp lordly, etc. Well, we know the cutlass is destroyed, so we'll just go ahead and call that back. Your insurance claim has Thank been sacked. In the meantime, vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Anger three. Please visit us again. I don't know why it won't put those on pads. My brother was making that comment. It's like, because these can't fly, so they shouldn't be on, uh, in the hangars. <clears throat> Talk about some elevator music. Okay, this one works. Make sure I got a suit on. Hala hala. Yeah. Open the goddamn doors. Took you long enough. Trying to figure out why my viewpoint is like so like crammed in my face. Yeah, that just looks bad. Uh 
I can live with 100. Okay. Where did they tell me to land? Ah, right where I came from. This gonna hurt. That was fun. This is gonna stay floating in the air like that, huh? Alrighty. Back to the lobby. Let's go get our Drake. Do it again. Go do it again. Anger 3, look at it. Be amazing if the Drake was just floating inside there. Save me the trip. And the hassle, for that matter. Alright. Did I shut the back door? I did, didn't I? Can't get me out the chair, anyways. Great. Right. Okay. Try this again. Drake hadn't done that to me in a while. Although, no, I've been flying the Drake a little bit lately. It's the first time I've done that in a while. This again, eh? Got an action inbounds, pretty big one. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Wait, it was in Hangar Three. So if it only decap if it decapitated me once, maybe I'm fine now? Like, maybe it won't... I think I saw two doors open on that. So the ship killed me and then they impounded it. Or immediately docked it after I was dead. That's... I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Hey, uh, that guy on docking pad three, yeah, he, they, they killed him. Just, you know, do your thing. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Anger four. Bump me up a number. Hail to the yeah. Anger four.
See, that sucks now because I have a corpse. Marker here, but... Bad time. All right. You are clear to launch. I know. As all my requests start coming through. Fuck you. Now I don't know where I died though. So I pretty much lost all that gear. I'm a little bit irked about that. I mean, so I didn't, I didn't technically lose it because I could go down and get it, because I know kind of where it's at, but... Thank you, and please visit again. Waypoint marker's not showing again. Uh-oh. There it is, just us speaking. Killjoy. Said I always set up shop at Grim Hex. Their store is easy access and has cool shit. Yeah. Yeah, I usually fly with my brother and stuff, though. And we have bigger ships, and... Grim Hex is just... I don't know. Something about the lawlessness and the ability to get shot as you're coming out your hangar through that asteroid field unless you know what you're doing real fast, real quick, and real lucky. Alright, so you know what? Since we're here... Where's that? Killjoy. Said you can warp out without leaving the bubble. Oh, well, that's fair. But they can still shoot in, can't they? So, that... Only... Batters... I lost my waypoint. Which is weird because I saw it from the other side of the planet. Finding a jump. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. That'll be fucking great. If only it would show me where my fucking other ship was at.
Let's try the orbital. Sometimes that resets it, so maybe that'll reset it. There it is. Weird. Hey, there's the vulture. See, that's a flashlight right there. Didn't make no sense. Huh. So if I hit shields off with O, and then I hit U, it turns them back on without shutting all the power off, weirdly enough. Just gonna say that's kind of interesting, that's all. That's all. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Are you kidding me? Gonna roll with it, I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna wonder why it doesn't have a gun though. Hey buddy. I want that. Fuck you, kid. Think you is? Oh shit, they're all in here. Well, I'll be fucking damned.
I will be damned. I don't think I've ever seen him do it like this. Dude, no. Need another gun. None of these guys. Shit. This is not shit. I'm not familiar enough with this ship to find the med bay. This way. No. Shit, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Not my day today. Yeah. Pretty sure I can't do anything because. Oh wait, I'm actually in the elevator, so... I might be rescuable. I could have put a beacon out. I have left channel 890 jump. I died. Don't let me spawn a beacon, so I guess I'm dead. Oh, God damn it! Love when games do that weird shit. They do. I'm just gonna assume I'm not gonna be able to get my shit back, so I need to pick up another study stuffs. Yeah, I don't exactly have a whole hell of a lot left over at this point. That doesn't sound good. 
Doesn't sound good at all. No. No. That's not what I wanted. There we go. I love that sound though, that thugunk, thugunk. <laughs> oh, it sounds vicious. Take two of those with. So we can all go swap it out later, so probably will. Third time? Fourth time. This is the fourth time. Fourth time's a charm. Your insurance claim has been sent. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Drake, it is. Please visit us again. Nothing I can do about that. <clears throat> Nothing I can do about that. Uh, yeah, I lied. It's gonna be a probably not a long stream tonight. Still trying to let my back get better. Killing me all week. First couple days I couldn't even couldn't even sit. what's going on let's go see what's going on maybe Yeah, I'm doing it. Really aggravated as to why the game insists on fucking changing all that, though. Is that oh this is a uh... this is like the 400 or 600 or some shit 300 no that's the
Holy crap! Where's my FPS going? Jesus. That's cargo. Is he in here? Damn it. And that shit again. So no, he's not in here. It, let's go. Why? Why is it always... Why does it keep defaulting my freaking route? I didn't set a route. It's pissing me off. Okay. We got guns, yo. Son of a bitch. This is ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Give me my fucking waypoint, yo. Okay. Contacts manager accepted. No idea. It's not showing up again. This is getting on my nerves. Like, why the fuck can't I? There it is. Why oh, I have to do that so many times? Fourth time's a charm. Crap. 
crime stats. <laughs> again. Count the number of ships that we've already got here. Yeah, even every ship's lights are better than this thing creepy <laughs> captain's quarters really that's all the captain gets on this ship wow crew gets the shaft too apparently Elevator doesn't work, apparently. Uh, apparently. I mean, we wanted to explore different ships and stuff, so I guess this is one way to do it. So yeah, elevators don't work in ships you don't own. Notice that. A lot of good this does me. Well, on that note, then, I guess we'll go turn the shields off. If this was a Carrick, that would be awesome, but it wasn't. So. We're gonna go ahead and turn the shields off on this thing. But we're just gonna turn everything off. That way somebody can't happen to come across it and find it and you know. Good old beardless dwarf. Sorry, duh. That beardless dwarf lost his ship. Nice. I think he died though, so it was kind of cheap. Right. So you can't access the ship's doors uh, either, the external doors, without breaking them or some shit, so I have to open all the doors. So you can open the doors, you just can't do it from the doors. You have to do it from the chair, right? As I just did. That means this should be open now, too. Yep. Yeah. There we go. That 
That's where your fucking gun went, dude. Swore I saw a dude up there. I wasn't tripping. I mean. Wait, so can I not? Salvo frag, salvo frag, salvo frag. Poor guy. All right. So I could have been saved. What the fuck was that all about? Apparently they gave these guys loot now, I guess. I don't recall them having loot before. Okay, no, these guys are the ones that didn't have loot. They still don't have loot. So there is a med bay in here. That's actually what I was looking for before I died. Coming downhill. Clearly. Yeah. So this is where you get your pistols at. Huh. You just come do a bunch of, like, 890 jump missions and loot these guys, because they got pistols on both their tops and their bottoms, I think. Yeah, tops and bottoms got pistols. Look at that. Crazy. Battle bridge. Kitchen. Living areas.
Oh, no way. I've never actually seen it with one of those inside. That's fucking cool as shit. One left. Great. Where you at, Jimbo? Here's Johnny. We're here, right? So, like, if I just leave this one dude here, I can go fuck around for a little bit, right? Until the mission's ready to, like, fail. Go salvage these ships up. I, I actually... I want to go back to that hangar and fuck with that other ship. Hang on, no, 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 no! Going back this way. Damn it. I think he's above or some shit. You can actually... Oh, no way! No fucking way! That's so cool. Wait, so let's get this off the deck. Shooting at me. Great, 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 great. All right, so this ship, not so good. No gimbals on the guns either. Two shots, that's it. Who else is over here shooting now? Peggy Dabney. Fly back over here. All 
All right, we'll set this right here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this one down. That's too cool. The fact that I could just take that right out of that. Oh, that was so cool. Made my day. Made my fucking day. There was nobody watching to see it. Man. Oh no. There we go. I was like, I'm stuck. I won't be able to get out. Alright, we gotta find this last turd. But I don't really want to yet, because I want to, like, scrap this shit first. Since we're here, and I have a, a respawn, essentially. Right? So... Oh no, is it not gonna let me use it? There it goes. Alright! Let's see what happens. So, if you remember, we deactivated the shields on the origin down here. We're gonna go ahead and switch to mining mode. This is where the tractor beams would be nice. Let's let's be real. Well, if it didn't have so many places you couldn't do it, that would be better. Right? It, I think it's because they're all, uh, that's all stuff that's going to be later for other things. How you doing, Voltma? said I am doing all right and you uh you missed it but yeah I'm doing pretty good I just had an amazing uh uh I don't even know what it was oh yeah the reaction to finding this inside the uh, the jump was actually pretty freaking cool um I didn't know that was a thing so yeah you can literally take this out of the jump on this mission and I did not know that the hangar worked and everything. It was great. Voltma said, "Yes, yeah, sometimes it has a 300." All right, so it's still got shields on. I'm guessing. <laughs> this one does not, though. I don't remember which is better. Uh, efficiency, speed. Not very much of a difference, really. Other than the speed, I guess. Definitely need the bigger uh, lasers for this, I guess. If I can make this one spin...
Guess that does kind of go both ways, huh? <laughs> Trying to get this other container to eject. <laughs> What's worse though is this is my Drake that I'm cutting up. <laughs> I was like, eh, whatever. Alright. So that is all the slicing and dicing we can do right now. Sounds like people are still fighting. I stole that one. <laughs> Somebody had it sitting outside, so I stole it. Right, I'm curious if I can actually land this one in here now. Let's see. I was able to raise it with the uh, other jet on it, but hmm. so it looks like this ain't gonna fit. Not gonna fit. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> Damn. Alright, let's go find this last jag off. <clears throat> uh, as always, if you guys wanted to join me, you're more than welcome to. I'm on the PTU today. Where's this last punk at? I'm gonna be there. Alright, so I heard him. I think he's up above another floor. Where you is, brother? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy.
Did I knock a guy out and not kill him, though? Like the first guy? Did I shoot the first guy that I killed? Not sure that I did. It's not him, though. Who's gonna be up before? I'm on hangar access, so... A one? No, no way he's on this floor. There are always people floating in this pool? He's outside, huh? There's one way to get close. Uh, yep, there he is. So it's making people talk, but it's just this dude that's knocked out. Oh, they updated it. It used to be you didn't get counted if they were knocked unconscious. I guess you do now. That's good. So he's in the kitchen? Dining room. I hear you. I see you. I kill you. Well, if I can get back with all this stuff, I shouldn't have a problem with pistols, huh? Jesus. So, since we could activate the the bay on this one, I wonder if we can deactivate the shields, and if we can scrap it. Not that I would sit here and take the whole time to scrap it, but I'm curious. Can I fly it? No! Oh shit, Durbo the Gnome, thank you for the raid, dude. You just, right as I learned that I can actually fly this, uh, jump. Uh. Durbo the Gnome, said woohoo. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Sorry, you, you did, you caught me at a, uh, a really interesting time because First, I found that that little 300i or whatever was actually spawned in this thing for the mission. Never seen that before. Then, the hangar actually worked and I took the ship out. Then, I was like, well, I gotta shut the shields down on this so that I can scrap it with my vulture. I can actually fly it. Um, so scrapping it, I don't think we're doing that. I don't think we're gonna scrap it. I think we're gonna play. I think we're gonna fucking play. Um. So, yeah, Jim yeah. The gnome <laughs> said, "Oh, you can fly the 890J missions now." Should go the lucky one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then, Lol, fly that bad boy. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get out of here and then unload my cargo off of the Drake, and we're gonna go for a ride. Uh, let's see, hangar. If I want to join me, I'm on the PTU. Jump party? 
Is that what they call them? Is this the right way? This is the right way. Yeah, this is. This is the right way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Unless this is new to this build, because I don't remember seeing this before. Like, oh, there it went. Oh shit, wait, it's actually... Opening. And it's moving! It's actually funny though, because this this trip started with the uh, uh it's not gonna let me open my hangar. So this technically isn't my ship anymore, I guess. Ow! Even though it is <clears throat> God damn you. Stop spitting. That makes no sense. Why my body is dislocating from the gun makes no sense. Zero sense. Alright. Here we go. So we're gonna get in the chair. We'll open the doors. Welcome uh, to the channel, y'all. I play a lot of space games and a lot of uh, shooter games. And when the space games and the shooter games happen to... Blend, we play a lot of that game, whatever it might be. Just so happens that it's dual universe. Dual universe. It's not dual universe. Said, huh, I always forget the tractor beam does that. Okay. Oh, that you can use it to fly? Huh. Try this again. So I thought I opened all the doors, but apparently I closed them. Oddly enough. Alright. Try this again. Shall we? Jerbo the gnome. <laughs> All right. Oh no! Fun as it would be to scrap all these, I'm not trying to scrap all this shit. Jerbo the gnome said, "I wonder if the 890s cargo grid is actually in the cargo." Let's find out. So it's definitely not here, on this. And this is the hangar. The cargo's on the other side, so I have to carry it through the ship. I don't think I can. The cargo underneath, though, should be openable, right? So I'll just have to go and, like, open all doors and shit. But we'll leave them in here for now, I guess. Right? I guess.
Wait, does that mean this elevator up here is working now, too? This was the elevator that wasn't working, right? Access hangar, yeah, it's working. Sweet. I think that one was working, but it was weird. It didn't always work. Cool. Alright. Oh shit, there's a basketball court? I did- That's cool. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright, so we got a mobile respawn point. We just don't have any ships for it because we scavenged the one ship we had. Whoops. Alright. Escape pods. So it looks like the battle bridge. Is this battle bridge or drone bay? This is drone bay, right? Gerbo the gnome. Said battle bridge. Can't control the battle bridge seat though, apparently. I tried. So this is the cargo. Let's see. Let's see if this actually opens. No fucking way! It actually works! Alright. So now we gotta go raise the front and test the cargo refactor in here, right? That's what we were testing if the grid's here. Let's go find out. Gerbo the gnome. Said yet. Oh, it's not gonna actually let me open it from here though, is it? Wait, there's gotta be a button up here, right? Can I just click it? No. Oh, uh, so there's no actual... Well, that's... Guess that's expected. So you've gotta actually open this from the outside. Or, er, outside, the inside. I guess that's fair. I do kind of wish there was like a emergency hatch near the cockpit. I don't know why ships don't have those. <laughs> Turret, pod. It's my corpse from earlier. I came out here without a suit and didn't realize it until I jumped out the ship. <clears throat> yeah, I stole that one. From somebody, it was just floating in space dock, so. Who went, yoink! Zero Fox, X Zero underscore Fox X. Thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate you. Or. person. I don't know. I, I, I just assume. My bad. Um. XXERO Fox said, Yup, said it right the first time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, I haven't been doing this, Fox. so. Said, Yup, I'm a dude XD. I mean, most people are that raid me. It's just kind of the way it works. I assume that, you know, because that's how it works, right? You know your audience. My audience is usually dudes. There we go. Louis Armstrong in the background on someone's stream right now? Louis Armstrong. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was a Fox. 
said I gotta smoke a doobie with my girl, but I'll keep ya tabbed up and Wetter drop by better. again a bit. Alright man, appreciate you. Fox said OMG, not that clip LMAO. <laughs> it's random, I can't control it. I got another oh one though, I forgot God. to do. Alright, I forgot to do this guy earlier. Alright, Gerbil, there's yours. Yeah, I don't know why they both <laughs> jumped off the boat and allowed, are allowing it to burn, Said but that's thank okay. You, Kaneslo. Appreciate you. I do, I appreciate you. Oh, they're bailing right now. Alright, so they, uh, we need to go well, and to get back inside the ship. In the water. I almost hit him with cannonball. Are you playing Sea of Thieves? I killed all three of them. On that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, they are no water. Oh, no, they're, they got water. Nice. Alright. Uh, I gotta find that docking port. There it is. Alright, we gotta get inside. Ugh. We're not. It's this floaty arm thing. It's getting to me. Like, stop. Apparently my arm's like all wound up and shit. <laughs> Alright. Try this again. Alright, so we're inside the ship. We need to get to the hangar, which is on the bottom, bottom floor. Because that's where we parked the shit at. Just this way. That was close. Wait, that's... I want the other side. So I got a 300i, I got a 890, and I got a 400i out here. Persistence is fun. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if there is a grid. That's so cool. Uh oh, I let go of it. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Stop spitting, you fool. science. I think that's going to be the title of a stream at some point. We're just going to do a bunch of random sciencey shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, it snapped! It totally snapped! Boom. Absolutely, 100%. Well, absolutely. I can't can't guarantee 100%, but at least two boxes snaps. And they snap up. So
Alright, well, let's check it out. That one is not actually there. Or it is, but it's... Damn. Sure, if anybody wants to join me in this adventure, I'm on the PTU. Um, let me know and I can throw up my screen for you. Invite me if you want. Set your friend request or whatever the... Thing is you need to do. Alright, so that's cargo. So it only fits on that container or that elevator. Alright. Alright, well, let's uh be on our ways. I got a ship full of bad guys, though. Shit, I gotta space all these corpses. These are all detected as, uh, baddies. When we land and shit. I wonder how many bodies I could gather in this thing before it crashed the server. <laughs> Just go around collecting corpses everywhere and putting them all in the hangar. Oh, that's terrible. That would be terrible. Alright. Like I said, we have a med bay though, so... Right? Job one is staying safe and healthy. something. Totally gonna break something. Just watch. Trying to get enough guns to field my army. Leg armor. I should... Sadly, though, without a ship to go in here, this bay is almost useless. If you don't have the ship to go in here. I mean, obviously, if you can afford this ship, you can afford the ship that comes in it. I think I broke it. Button too many times. Hit the button too many times. Alright, so now we're going to... The door's open. A 
I'm gonna get all this stuff off the ship and shit. It's just gonna vanish on me. Just watch. I'll be so mad. I'll be like, I took all this time making it my own and it just like randomly disappears. Just boop, gone. All right, uh, a couple corpses over here. Go ahead and leave that open for the moment. I think the next load of corpses is in the center room. All right, let's close this up. All right. Also, if you decide you want to play and you send me an invite, remind me because I might not see it right away. I don't always pay attention to the flashing white lights on the screen. Right. Oh, right, we're still clearing, uh... Alright, so let's clear this one. Okay, well, that's not an option. I tried. Now they're back. Go down. There we go. I do actually want the white one's armor, but I don't want to... I guess I'll just grab it. Grab. So if you can't grab the items right away, just mouse over your inventory personal backpack, and then... And then once you get the uh, jumpsuit available, just a vehicle and the doop. Actually, do that with all of them, I guess. Save some of the other armors too, I guess. Just like the so. Then we. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. That go. We'll go take care of these corpses up here. Which... It's the quickest way to get to them. Technically, the quickest way to deal with these corpses would just be to bust the glass inside there and let the vacuum suck them all out. But... That's not actually an option, so yeah. Out the airlock it is. Not that I really give two shits about the crime stats, but we can avoid the crime stat, right? On the upside, I'm pretty much safe until something else spawns out here, right? Not a good way to look at it, I guess. Alright, so... Nobody in here. I 
know I'm gonna have one left behind probably, and that's okay at this point. So it used to be when you did this, it would dump the loot they had inside their containers too. It doesn't do that on the 3.18, right? It stays in the inventory with them. So something to keep in mind when you're doing this. If you want stuff out of it, it doesn't work like that anymore. Because in 3175, it does. You can absolutely uh, drag the stuff to the inventory and it just dumps it out of the which is an annoyance, right? Obviously. But also, you know, not, I guess. Depending on what you're doing with it. <laughs> no, you want to loot the guy, not turn the body over. Cooking that chicken. Alright. Get rid of these corpses. Thought for a second that was my undersuit. I was about ready to like, oh no. All right. I think. Uh, I feel like I missed somebody, but I think we're good. I did miss somebody. The dude in the fucking dining room. Hang on. Can't leave a corpse when I know it's there. Loot. Do a die. That could be a fun game. Like some kind of a game with corpses and like play it in uh in space and you do like the like shuffleboard where you just like shoot the corpses at the other corpses and see if you hit them pretty dark huh my bad i'm just remembering uh the fuck's that show um I can't remember the name of the show now. The one on HBO though, with the ship that they had to like put human species around and they have like the, the corpses flying around. Oh, Avenue 5, that's what it is. Um, just, ugh. So just ridiculous of a show, but. <clears throat> Damn, it ain't fun. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. I think before we start this journey, though, let's figure out where all these ships are. One, two. Is that the Drake despawned? And that one, I kind of fucked up on. I probably shouldn't have scrapped that one. Because that actually lands on this ship, so maybe... Maybe that one still flies enough, we can, like... Ah...
Oh wait, this doesn't have guns on it? Shit. There we go. Doesn't actually tell me how many missiles I have. Hm. All right, well. Ah, what we gotta do? We're gonna go do a mission. Duh. We have no crime stats, so we're, we're good on that. All right. I need friends. I need friends to join me on this. This is pretty fun. Okay. Where are we going to go? What are we going to go do? Mercenary. Somebody want to jump? Let's go. Let's go get another jump. Oh, that's funny. That's too funny. Maybe I could find the other origin. There's that 400i though. Where's this other jump at? Should blow all those up, but... This thing's a giant-ass boat, man. There we go. So I've never actually flown one of these before, so we're going to watch this. This will be fun. I can't wait. Damn, these things take forever to charge. We're going to enjoy ourselves, though, whilst we're in route, I think, though. About that time. Yes, it is about that time. About that time. Shit, so now I don't know where it's at. And you said that you all alone, and you got something to say. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Hilarious. Okay, people, let's go. Marijuana, Mary Jane, green, kind, dope, stank. That was fast. <laughs> Crippler, Warlock, Short Bus Biofuel, Tom Bombadil, Redheaded Stepchild, Riddler, Jungle Fungus, Cro Magnon, Vancouver Salad, Topanga Brain Gang, Short Term What? Modern Fire, GEV Test Trip, Colony Topeka, Incredible Take it down! Is it gonna let me jump that? Manchurian Candy, Hobo Harvest, Mojave Dry Mouth, Solvent Heston, Chin Strap, Cambodian Ball Gag, and Arabian Crime because it gets you so stoned. So the jump's cockpit. Not very fun. Like, there's no information on it. I have no idea what anything is. <clears throat> oh, 
Also, the blue doesn't work well with the white at all. Makes it really hard to see anything. So if the HUD's changeable, you'd want to change the HUD in this. No, 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 stop. He's gonna do that stupid jump back and forth thing I've seen it do before. There we go, we're just gonna go. And, and by no information, I have no idea what my speed is. Because there's no speed reticle in this thing. Open exterior? What did I just open? Got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's called a missile lock, motherfucker. <laughs> Just go out like that. Boop. Keep playing, buddy. One. Here comes number two. Don't you dare. Keep flying away, buddy. Is that a hammerhead? Nah, it's a... It's a cutty. Only I can hit the cutty. If I'm... Fine, you know what? Hey, buddy. You know who's bigger than you? you play chicken with a whale? See what happens. Yeah, you better run away, bud. Okay, fine. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play! Did he just bounce off me like that? He did. Said I come back to you bullying little ships in the 890. He's about damage my shields though. Fuck me. What? You're gonna make me. Alright, fine. Play differently then. There's no throttle limiting. I'm sure there is. Shoot my back a little bit. And then we're gonna spin around. Okay, I expect it to be faster than that, but. Come on. Come on. Back the fuck away. What the hell? Where my missile locks go? Where'd the missiles go? Ah, oh, come on. Close exterior. 
So I'm not getting my missiles back, which is problematic. Did he blow them up? I got a lot of missile cannons. What the hell is going on here? All right, fine. You want to put it that way? Let's do this. Just uh, crank up the shields. I need a seat. I do damage to you. Hopefully one of these co-pilots has something fun. Probably not. I probably gotta go all the way to the fucking back and get a turret. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Quickest way to a turret is the hangar. So it's not gonna be that, it's gonna be all the way down and then lovely. Okay. Good night. Ah, fuck. The turret's not down this way. Alright, I guess. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. The turret's all the way in the back one. We emptied that, right? I should actually leave that up, huh? So when we land something? My bad. Shows you how much I know. Those that are about to die. You should not have much life left. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right. Exit the, exit the turret. Uh-oh. No. No.
Is it Y? Is there a different button to get out of the turret? Let me out of the goddamn turret! Damn it! Apparently, this bug is still active, huh? Uh-oh. I think the seat's broke. <clears throat> I think it's trying to exit. Cross those fingers, right? It's not gonna work. But we all get forward if Persistence works right, it should load us right back into where we were since that's where our spawn point is set. But what will probably happen is it'll spawn us back on our home planet. Probably. If I had to put money on which option would be most likely to happen, it's going to be the second one. Spawning back at home base. But, maybe 318 will kick in and I'll spawn back on that ship. That could be fun. That could be fun. Yeah, I feel like smacking around that little ship with that, uh, that 890 should have just blown up that cutty, but it didn't, oddly enough. Should have, should have just... Cutlass Black should have just exploded. It doesn't do collision well, but it took the 890. I wasn't going very fast, obviously it's an 890, so it goes all like 60 miles an hour, but... Still. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. Sigh. Oh well, we'll get another one and we won't spend as much time prepping. We'll just go right for it. Now that we know we can, giggity. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. No, that's exactly what it means. And also, uh, mm, believe you can control the retriever as well. The reclaimer, you can steal the reclaimer off of a... Uh, the Nine Tails mission. So, there's that. I think that's an option as well. So, yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> Move all. <laughs> uh, like a kid in a candy store. Heck yeah. Alright. Vamanos. Downside. Welcome. You gotta wait for the ships to come back. <laughs> Guess we don't. We did call that one back, didn't we? I think I'm in trouble though on the Drake because it's stuck in retrieving storage. Even after a logout, so I don't know what that's all about. But. 
really sucks is we lost our loot. We had two SCUs of scrap. Oh well. We're just gonna go get another 890. Hopefully the 300 I will be in it again. And we'll get a 300 and an 890. Yeah. Then we gotta go put a, um, a package on it so we can locate it again. You know that trick. Yeah, you probably do. Y'all probably smart like that. Yes, there's a bed. Yes, I'm ignoring it. I'm just gonna look straight ahead. You are clear to launch. That's big enough. It's the exact same location of the last one we just did. <laughs> it's hilarious. It literally is too, I think. It was area 11. Gonna definitely need a gunner though with that thing if we do it again. That was crazy. I'm also gonna have to take a short stand up break here in a few minutes. Boom! We ain't doing that. Slap the console. It's interesting that these, I guess, things aren't actually spawned yet. Until I get close, like, as soon as they pop up on the radar, I guess, is when they spawn in. Until then, they don't appear to be registering. There they are. There they are. something here. Whoa, that's going way too fucking fast. That didn't, uh... So I thought I turned the speed down enough, but... I was gonna try to, like, send it off so they would chase it and leave me alone. Um, but, uh... Yeah. Apparently, um... I just don't see me taking out two drakes with this thing. Not particularly, actually. I don't see me taking out anything. No, 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 no. Dude, the exit's right fucking there. Take that. Okay, don't do that. Don't do what I just did.
Okay, hold up. Now I'm curious. He stopped moving. <laughs> For science. So he stopped messing with that as soon as I left it. Which is interesting. He didn't just destroy it. So that's... I guess a good thing, but I thought that they would do that. Unless this is like a cop? Is this a cop? What can I actually do with his ship, huh? Too bad I don't have the cutter, right? I could just like cut into it. <laughs> put a put a grenade on it. Hey buddy! Oh, you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Can I shoot you? That one triggers the shields, but the other one didn't. That's interesting to know. Can I shoot his ammo? Nope. <laughs> that would be cool. So... Wait, what's that? Is that the Drake? What is that? cares. I never get that objective anyways. Curious about the bastards that were trying to kill me, okay? Give me a break. For science and, and stuff. Fuck? Oh! <laughs> That's my engine he shot off! <laughs> I think. Oh, wait. Did I collide with him? This is a hornet, yeah? The remains of a hornet. Huh. Not me, then somebody else, maybe? I guess. I'll have a... Yeah, I have a gun still. Try this again. Um, hook it. Hook it, hook it. Give me something to connect to. Always something to connect to. Can you activate this one from the bottom, maybe? Probably not. They probably can only be activated from the inside. Looks to be the case. Good to know. Get a little remote control, like, wrist beacon or something. That'd be fun. Make your mobile glass work from a distance. Great. 
Great! I don't have a gun. Yeah, I do. God for that, I guess. Nope. Damn you. Oh shit. Never. Give me time to get up and stretch my legs. See if anybody takes the beacon. I'll be back. Person so far away. Somebody gonna hit the jackpot if they get there before I do. Jackpot. Just heavy armor, dude. Shut the fuck up. Uh... And I think my Drake's broke too, so I'm probably gonna have to do a character reset anyways. Not that that really makes a difference, I guess. That doesn't behave very well in there. Alright. Whatever. Do I even have a... Nope. Are you... Cereal. God damn it. <clears throat> Whatever. Can't put any charge on it, that's what it is. 
So you can use a laser, but you can't charge it. You can't put no power behind it. Wait, that's salvaging laser anyways. What the fuck is that doing salvaging? Whatever. Not even gonna ask. That's why it's not doing nothing, because I'm, not I'm trying to salvage people. Why would I try to salvage somebody? That doesn't make any sense, just... Salvage vehicles. Without shields. Ramp. No! <clears throat> Just left. Damn it. Here it comes. All right. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Oh, bullying smaller ships with an 890. What else are you supposed to do with an 890? It's not good for anything else. Last call for passengers. Other than just showing off. I guess apparently somebody was doing that. They were tearing apart the ships and stuff and the displays or whatever. <laughs> At one point, uh, kind of fun. Kind of fun, kind of creative. A little bit of both. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, once we go into warp, I'm gonna take a short little walk away. Let the ship fly through warp. Because it's gonna take a while. And this is assuming that I can even get my ship. <clears throat> I don't know. Might not let me. As it was glitched out at the other one, trying to reclaim or whatever, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. So we'll see what it's doing, and if it's still broken, then we may have to do a Last character call reset. For passengers, the shuttle is preparing to depart. May have to do character reset. Enjoying your view? Our recently redesigned Crusader Industries shuttlecraft features expanded. Oh. Everybody just standing around. It's like somebody cut all y'all's cord or something. Hi, welcome. Or something. So that's what goes inside that big ship. Thing's garbage. <laughs> it's probably not, but might as well be. Woof. Might as well be. Looks like it's fine now. New visitors to Orison may sometimes find that they are experiencing a mild sense of relief. Your insurance claim has been sent. Remember to breathe, please. Two minutes. 
two minutes, then we get to go back to the 890 and do that again. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Timer, 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 go faster. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. There'll be a lot of more waiting around and shit though once they add in like the loading times for like fueling and stuff. It'll be interesting to see what all that does. I mean, I guess like you set it up to do that while you're running around and shit makes sense, but I don't know. I'm not. Could be fun. Could be fun. Could be obnoxious, but could be fun. I guess it just depends. I guess it just depends. Thank you for visiting Orison, the heart and headquarters of Crusader Industries, where dreams take flight. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Boom, boom, boom. The boom, boom. 3, 2, 1. Alright. Retrieve. Let us go. Finish this mission. Hangar 4. Alright, let's go. Open the door so I can get out of here then. I'm so clear to launch. I got a mission. That little afterburner. All right, and I will be back shortly.
search the there we go Yeah, that's lovely. Some are defenseless when Cupid strikes. But I've been heartless ever since I opened my eyes. I'm gonna run from love. Where do the wives don't AFK with that damn <clears throat> auto pilot on? Because, heh! Could have killed myself there. Fly right straight into the plant, that would have ended your trip real quick now, wouldn't it, kid? Uh, yep. Uh, yep, it would have. Yep. We would have died for sure.
Yeah, apparently whatever that was, I blew it up. That would be interesting. Well, let me dock on the jump. Yeah, it just won't, it won't connect. Wait, there it goes. And then what would they say? They said turn the engines off? No, it doesn't work. Tried. All right. Uh, builds up. Exit the chair. <clears throat> so. I did see that it said there was a um, an opening out here. Perhaps. It said to open to the exterior. Now I'm curious. Because there was definitely something when I was sitting in the chair that said open to exterior. So I'm going to look at that again. <clears throat> like a cycle airlocks but no doesn't work like I was gonna try to take my helmet and shit off but it's unless there's like a force field or something maybe pump gas Shh, stay down
Oh, no. Yes, bitch. Wait. It's not so shit again as that. That'd be great. Okay, okay. Alright. Get off me, you bitch! Great! Lovely. Out the fucking airlock with you, home. Open up, you fucking door! Are you not dead yet? The fuck, guy? Okay. Awesome. So the guns only work half the time. Motherfucker! Is it my bad, though? I mean, I saw the dude was there and I fucking tried to hide behind the fucking flowers. Yep. Tried to hide behind the fucking. So the jump's definitely harder than the, uh, the, um, data retrieval or the, uh, defend missions on the planets. Definitely harder. I've died pretty much every fucking time doing this. If it wasn't to the fighters, it was to the guys inside. But that's just me. I'm, I'm bad. I'm terrible at the fucking game. I guess that's what it is. Of about had it. <laughs> game, not so much the game is with me, just not. I'm not playing for shit today. I don't play for shit any day though. Usually. Back to Orson. Yeah, we ain't doing this again. Doing this again.
The glass doors is your exit. Find them into the hole. Something like that, I don't know. Thirteen out of twenty. I didn't kill that many. Yeah, I did. I guess I did. Clearly I did. Be nice when this goes live though like i'm excited for this this is really this is really good like yeah there's some bugs and it breaks and shit but as far as like i don't get a lot of 30ks although maybe that's a system thing because playing on a better system but it's please clear the hatch shuttle will be departing i haven't gotten a server side 30k either that i can recall maybe Day, not at all, I don't think, so far, so. That's like, yeah, that's not bad. It's, it's been pretty solid. So if they can keep it going in that direction, keeping it solid and they can fix all the bugs for the launch, then we can get this on live and it'll be, it'll be solid. Obviously there'll still be issues and stuff because they gotta figure out what's gonna break when more people play it, but <clears throat> it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. Uh, this is Orison, if you didn't know. It's a gorgeous planet. Or, well, gorgeous city on the planet Crusader. Not sure what that is. Probably don't want to know either. Could be anything. Could there be anything? Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Oh. Another shuttle will be long short. At Orison Skyway Shuttle Service, more flights means less worries. To the spaceport we go. What are we gonna find? We're gonna find a spaceport place to fly ships from. Of course. Duh. That's what Spaceport is. Like... God, you even had to ask. Oh, it's a Spaceport. I bet there's... So did they just, like, dissect an MRI machine and say, hey, this is the metal detector to get into the Spaceport? I mean, it's not really an MRI machine, but cut it in half. Kind of like an MRI machine. Hi, <clears throat> thanks for coming in. Okay, we'll rent this today. Got it. That would be fun too, but. I feel like I rented a constellation, but I think I only rented it for a day, and that was like Friday. 
That that would make sense, yeah. That would make sense. It's probably what I did. I rented it Friday when we were playing, and then I didn't play it really all this weekend. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Pretty sure that's what happened. Pretty sure that's what happened. Playing with my brother. Anger 4. Let us go into the wild. Hang a fool. Do this again. Hopefully this isn't going to take forever. I don't know how long this warp drive takes on this thing, but... Being a luxury ship, it better not be long. I'm going to be mad. It takes longer than it would have taken to summon the Drake. And get there, I'll be mad. Like, I'll be livid. Davidius. Downside is I didn't actually check to see if this thing would make it, and it might not. Oh, okay, it will. We're good then. All right, let me go set my course. It doesn't give me a time, but I'll figure. It. It takes so long on the reclaimer, it's not even funny. Because that's the difference in speeds, though. Alright, I'll be back. <clears throat>
Yeah, it's a long trip, so... Note to self. If you buy one of these, upgrade the... <clears throat> QT drive. Because goddamn, it sucks. I mean, it looks sharp as fuck, but... does, I don't know how to access it. <clears throat> Not I. <clears throat> Alright, we're getting close. Fuel, Definitely took longer on this one. My Drake's got the Got the XL1, I do believe. That's what it is. My Drake, my my Cuddy Black. I keep her upgraded. So she travels quickly. You know. You know. How it be, how it be. raining again. So that locks and unlocks the ship. So if I unlock the ship, then anybody can use it and access the elevators and stuff. So if you take a ship and you want to be able to free roam it, you just have to unlock it, I guess. That's the trick. Fair enough. Good trick. The trick, actually, really is finding all the panels. Because not all the ships have them, I guess. Or if they do, they're not always as easy to find as the, uh, the luxury panels. Right, okay. Cool down. Cools down really fast though. Obstructed. Of course. Seriously? This is ridiculous. It's like I know it can shoot to the other side of the planet, but it just. For fucking some goddamn reason, it doesn't want to. Like, seriously? Bullshit. Now that we can access OM5, we can get to where we need to go. Right, yo. Probably should have not kicked myself out of that jump sequence, but hey, whatever. Shit happens.
There'd be no baddies here. Fast motherfucker, though. Timothy. I'll give it that. Said hey. How you doing, Timothy? Yeah, it's fast. Holy shit. Alright, so I've actually got to, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's go get the ship first, I guess. So it won't let me land it until I own it, I guess? Figure. I will not own it, but until it's my controlled ship. So we'll have to go take control again. God. Assuming we don't go up again and die. Here we go. Is that the one that I emptied? No. Okay. No, I ain't nobody here. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not, Not this again. Said sup, man. Uh. <laughs> You're not Fortnite a pro. Said WTF LOL. Uh, uh, I'm not a Fortnite pro, man. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Fuck you, 
game. Uh, I took too many bullets, and I was reaching for the um, the, the syringe on my corpse. Said cheer one, cheer one. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Oh man. Oh, and nobody plays medic on the PTU, so <laughs> it's a waste to even try to do that. But maybe somebody's in the area. Keep forgetting to reset my fucking spawn. <laughs> oh, Christ. <sighs> I died on my other corpse. Literally on top of my other corpse. This is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> This is getting ridiculous. It's better now though than when the game uh, it actually like launches. So learn all the things not to suck at when the game comes out. For legit. All right. Or not Fortnite a pro. Said earlier I had like 100k worth of stuff on my dead body I want to retrieve it and when I got there my game crashed. Uh, were you playing on PTU? That sucks. Or not Fortnite a pro. Oh. Uh, no. See the PTU uh, 318 actually has that persistence now. And there's a, like, a protection if you're in your own ship and you crash and stuff. It's supposed to, I think, help you not lose all your shit. Although, right, Star Citizen, take that with a grain of salt. But, yeah, I'm on the PTU and I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, the stability on the PTU is absolutely insanity. Uh, the live server has never played this stable for me and any of my experiences with it it's always 30king and this is i've literally not 30k once today um i did have some issues with some other stuff but that wasn't i got um got stuck in a turret is what it was so because it was an actual lift turret, I couldn't, like, just virtual finagle my way out of it. I had to actually, like, Alt F4, and then I find that if you play with people, the game's a little bit more easier to navigate, as long as it's not, like, a server-wide 30k. Because... Not Fortnite a pro. Said I have had over 10 30k as today. Oh, yeah, that's nuts. I don't get any of those on this, uh, PTU build currently. Um, that's the one thing that I've, like, been really... It's why I'm playing on the PTU. Like, to be frank, I, I, I just started a couple weeks ago, a month ago. And, uh, I don't have... Like, there's no reason to grind on the live server with this coming out in, like, the next month. Um, also, the performance on the PTU is just, when it's working... Right? When it's working, it's so much better than the fucking live servers. Other than a couple things, like my Cutlass likes to decapitate me. Um, and there's some issues here and there. Turret's not working. Um, little things, right? Little things. But the persistence is nice. Like that, that's been there since my last death. So whatever that is, is just existing there. Um, and then the scrapping in this, and also the cargo. I haven't even played with the cargo stuff. Like, I haven't been pirating or anything. There's probably, like, five people on this server, to be honest. 
Next it's the PTU. Nobody's really, nobody's really playing seriously right now. Like, I don't think. I mean, maybe, maybe some streamers are, but I think most people are just like, kind of just waiting at this point. Because at the very, at the very latest this month, if everything goes as planned, I would say, I would say their marketing goal for this expand or this patch update would be 318. It's like, you don't want this to, if it's gonna release early, great, but if you're gonna set like a goal, it would be March 18th, I think. Obviously, though, they're European, so it wouldn't make any sense, I guess. I don't know. We're not Fortnite a pro. Said my star citizen just crashed again. Are you playing on 16 gigs of RAM? That's such a nice ship. You're not Fortnite a pro. Um, so if you haven't done so already, uh, best way to minimize those crashes is to uh, change your virtual memory to 24 or 32 gigs, depending on what you have available uh, memory or memory uh, hard drive space on. If you know anything about virtual memory in Windows. Um, if you're running on 16 gigs and you switch to 24 gigs, it'll help. If you switch to 32, it'll help and you have overhead. If you're on an SSD, obviously, it's the best way for that to happen and work. But But that that should help tremendously on your crashes. Um, I have personally. You're not Fortnite a pro. Said I also have like no ah. SSD space left. Yeah, that would. Uh, well, that'll get you. Windows requires, like a. Th no, it doesn't require that much. It requires some space though to function properly. Because the the system doesn't know where to put shit when it runs out of space. Um. But yeah, uh, changing your file, page file, um, on the system absolutely fixes those crashes. And it doesn't fix them 100%, but it fixes them enough to where it's more bearable. It'll also help with uh, your frame rates and stuff in some of the uh, city areas if you're having some issues. It'll, it won't give you a lot of frames, but it'll give you a few more frames to make it a little bit more bearable. Uh, I have a friend who playing on a laptop and had to specifically do that uh, he's on 16 gigs and that it helped him tremendously like as soon as he did that it was just like boop, cleaned up so we'll see if we can actually use the cutlass or if it's going to decapitate us again put some money on the decapitation it's like a one in three chance maybe I don't know said on PTU is the FPS better yes it is yes it is at least it seems to be better seems to be better I don't really have an FPS issue but um, I think from what we've noticed, it is slightly better on the PTU. But if you want to add me and join me on the PTU, you are welcome to. I am, I guess, this guy. I think this is just like the chat thing, but I'm this guy. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know how why there's different names. So I got, I have like three different fucking names. It's ridiculous. But I'm also in Discord if anybody wants to join me as well. That's available in the channel. Here we go. Tell us black. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following locations again. 
Panga 4. I think the one thing with the PTU that's huge is that the um the trams and the elevators get wonky. But you're not Fortnite a pro. Said in a space no PTU. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Gotta jump on those hard drive sales when they come up. Get yourself one of those nice fat NVMEs or something. Right? It's just a, there's always one more upgrade, isn't there? It's like, I got my new system, but there's like, it needs another 32 gigs of RAM. It needs another hard drive. It needs a power supply uh, so that I don't like electrocute it when the power gets cut off or something in California like it do. Like, all these little piddly things that are just like, you don't think a whole lot about until it's like, oh shit, that two gigabytes did not go very far. Like, shit. But, I guess that's where, like, setting up a, uh, a home media network and shit comes in handy for that kind of stuff. All right. Thank you. And please visit again. Not gonna let me do that. Weird. Yeah, it's doing that whole not let me fucking select anything thing. You're not that. Fortnite a pro. Said crashed again. Yeah, it's it's because you don't have any uh any space because if you have no space then the game's also going to be trying to do uh, shaders and shit and it needs to have space to install those two it's like all of that's just making for a really bad time probably 16 gigabytes aside right obviously there's also the page file that does exist but craziness hey Joey three four five nine thank you for the follow welcome to the channel there we go no Damn it. It's gonna make me go to Art Corp first. Fine, fuck it, whatever. Fine, fuck it, whatever. All right, turn off the auto run. And I guess we're just gonna hit this bowl while we take the long road. Been a long road getting from there to here. <laughs> Any of you Trekkies are out there, let me have it. I deserve it. It's a great song. It's a horrible Star Trek theme, but it's a great song. It really is. Man, we got so much rain coming in that... Shit. Building over there across the way from me has got water on their backyard like this thick. Thick. This deep. This is ridiculous. Like, it's just not going anywhere. There's nowhere for it to go. The ground was so hard, and now there's just so much water all at once. It can't all seep into it. Oversaturated. 
It'll be crazy. Yep. Yeah, 32 gigs though will help a lot. My buddy in the laptop upgraded his laptop from 16 to 32. Said me and Joey can join you on Discord. Sure. Exclamation point Discord or uh, under the about tab. I mean, I can join you on the uh, the live stuff too if you want to play together. I'm I'm okay with that. It's not a big deal. PTU is definitely more stable right now, though. That's a fact. It's got some broken elements, depending on your gameplay loops that you prefer, but my gameplay loops are all pretty decent right now. Although this will all be wiped tomorrow anyway, so it won't even matter. Because they'll be pushing a new build to the PTU tomorrow. Here we come. There we go. not Fortnite a pro. Said we're in the live gotcha. lobby VCRN. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we got moved. And what's up? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Alright, up. We need to adjust something somewhere though. I made changes. Where did I make changes? Mixer? No. Joey, is your uh, download for PTV almost done? Uh, I I stopped it because it was gonna t it was only like halfway done. Can you go back to live from there though? Yeah, I can go back to. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do both. There's no. Uh... I was gonna try the PTU out, but since he can't download it, you know. Right, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's it's incredibly solid though. Um, Do you know when I, the update's supposed to drop? The, like the full thing, where it's going to. The so, PTU? if I had to put money on a date, um, the one date I've been seeing for sure that they want it deployed by is Invictus. So like, mm, end of May, okay. like yeah. for Next sure. Month. But, based on what I do also know, and what I've read, is that 319 is supposed to be deployed by then as well. That's not going to happen, probably. <laughs> but, but they're working on both concurrently, I believe. There's a whole new mining update with uh, 39, um, yeah. 319. And um, my guess for 318 is, like, again, they're not American, generally. But 318, March 18th, like if you think about it from the opposite of the British uh, dates and shit, yeah. I guess. Supposedly they're backwards because when we say like 7-11 or 11-7 or whatever, it's like whatever, I don't know. Confusing. So Picard Day and all that stuff, I have no idea what the actual dates are. Like how you would say them over across the pond. So. All right. And also, you were talking about, you know, you didn't know why you had multiple names and that on it. You probably did a name change, and the bottom one was your original account name. No, uh, this account was created in 2013, and everything's original. It okay. wouldn't let me, uh, like, I had to pick a different name for everything. So my okay. login name, my handle, and my yeah. chat name are all fucking different. 
It was so stupid. I created a new one um, as soon as as soon as I can gift my uh, Cutlass over to my new account. Then I'm basically turning this one probably into a pirate account and just renaming everything. <laughs> so it's not necessarily 100% tracked back to me. I guess you could probably tell though. There's probably like this whole like like it doesn't even where it tells you what their name changes and shit were, but I don't really care. As long as they don't see it at first glance in the sidebar or whatever. I think half the people don't even know you can look shit up on the website. Like, I don't even know what you can look up on the website, but I know you can look up, like, organizations and stuff. So, there's that. Let me go ahead and join you guys. I'm Here, not right. getting one frame a second and crashing right. anymore when I get up. So that's a good sign. I think I sent you a friend request. I think it was you. The big thing with... If you're crashing a lot with 16 gigabytes, though, is absolutely minimum 24 gigabytes of uh, virtual memory. That will minimize your crashing um, as much as it can, right? It's, Obviously, it, SSD is weird. better, but we we basically got the same computer, me and him, because we're both running the 3060. Right. I'm running a, I'm running the TI variant. He's just running the standard. Oh. But other than other than that, where it's basically the same setup, but I have no problems with crashing it, unless it's a 30k. Oh, please don't crash. Okay. Oh. So, if he's running low on memory, though, that's huge. Like, <laughs> Windows performs like shit. And as soon as Windows starts acting up, the game's gonna act up. Yeah. Like, this game's it's not I polished. It's not optimized. And if Windows starts having hiccups, this game's gonna have hiccups. And it already wants every bit of that 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, because oh. I'm running 16 gigs. I've, I've noticed it likes yeah. it likes to hog it same for you though Just up, upgrade your uh cache your uh your virtual memory to 24 gigabytes swap memory or whatever you want to call it and uh you if you have performance issues you'll probably notice a little bit of a difference um my buddy on his laptop definitely noticed an improvement because he was getting he didn't it wasn't so much the frames as it was the hitching like it dropped the hitching was less and then also um he said that uh he had less crashes because when the game's crashing like that, it's because I'm assuming based on what he said and, and what I know a little bit about the way games behave is the game is trying to load shit into memory. And once it maxes out the hard memory, then it starts to look into the soft memory, I believe, which is your swap memory. And once it fills that out and it can't pull any more, then the game will throw an error if it tries to pull mem more memory than it can, which causes the crash, like a lack of memory crash, basically. A uh, lack of RAM crash. And so if that's what's happening, that's why changing that swap file to a higher number uh, gives you better performance because it's no longer crashing, right? It's using the hard drive to kind of like offload. So I, I, I've had I assume. pretty, I've had pretty decent FPS. Like I normally run around 60 in cities. So, you know. That's not bad for a 3070? 3060? Yeah, it's a 3060 Ti, yeah. Jesus, yeah. And I've got an i7. So. Nice. Very nice. I can't talk. I'm running like 4 FPS trying to walk around. <laughs> you I, 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 might have some issues <laughs> if you've got the same setup and you've got... You're, make, you're, make, make sure your clouds are off because that that was a big help as well. Turning oh, the yeah, off. yeah, yeah. So the things that I turn off, and I've got a system that I don't even need to turn this shit off, but I turn it off anyways, is um, I turn off, I use the default settings, and actually I think I turned up scattered objects and tessellation, which I could turn those down if I really wanted to. I just realized what. Um, but the clouds, and then... Where's that? Chromatic aberration off. Um, because that it adds a little bit, but it's it's unnecessary amount of calculations. And if you've got a bottlenecking I've... issue with your CPU or something, then you'll definitely notice it there. One thing that I've noticed though, it's weird That's how big. this game works with how the settings, you know, if you lower it, it goes I believe it goes more CPU based, and then if it's, you know, raised it goes right. more GPU. I do believe that's true on some things. Uh, I think it's the overall quality has to be high yeah. or very high. If you change it below that, then it starts to take it off. Um, volumetric clouds, though, you can adjust those. Because um, yeah. those are definitely intensive. 
Now, whether it's GPU or CPU, I don't know. Like, I don't know how all those calculations bounce back and forth. I'm not a fucking tech guy. Not, yeah. I am a tech guy, but I'm not a PC. Yeah. Like, there's, there's so many ways to be a tech guy that I'm not, like. I, I joined user <laughs> if you want to join off me or whatever. Oh, okay. I think I kind of figured out what happened. How'd you get it? Overlays, too. Um, any game that is intensive on your system, if you've got an overlay, like Discord overlays or Steam overlays or Ubisoft overlays, like all those fucking overlays that are hooked into like every single game, they can cause issues. Um, they can cause uh, like uh, cheat bots and shit to like react and think you're cheating because the like overlays hook into AEXEs and shit. Or something. I forget how it works, but like it's like a hooking th type of thing where yeah. that's what the cheat bots are looking for is like something that attaches itself to an exe. Yeah. And so like if it finds that, then it can cause issues and cause performance to slow down because it's trying to like prevent you from cheating. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I, I I'm just kind of shooting in the dark on that kind of stuff. But I know overlays definitely fuck with performance. Um, if you have issues, always look to the overlay. Discord especially. Discord. That's why that. I, yeah, that, that, that's why I don't use the Discord overlay on. I use it on most of my other games, but not on this because. How do you turn it off? Uh, it'll be in uh, Discord settings. Yeah, it's in exactly right. um, it, there. I believe there's an overlay tab. Yeah, specific thing. overlay. Uh, game overlay. Just turn it off. And it will be game overlay, or you can actually turn it off. I think for individual games. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so like, like you can... probably shouldn't be quantum jumping at low FPS. Oh, oh. But register games is where you can turn it off individually for games. Under uh, activity settings. So it kind of reset all my graphic settings because I uh I had to verify all the game files and it. Yeah. Also, uh, if you're having issues. Don't be afraid to delete your shaders folders and your user folder. Absolutely. My user be folder? Yes. Um, yeah, I've had problems. I've deleted the user folder before. If you're having graphical issues, visual issues, or crashes, those are the first two things you want to do. Um, the user folder is under the app data, and any patch they do um, under the patch notes will tell you exactly where to find the location of those files. Um, but I accept, oh, yeah, I accepted your friend request. Uh, and it'll tell you where those files are. I actually, hang on, let me see. User, Notes. I'm going to send you a uh, party invite real quick. All right. Yeah, there it is. All right, never mind. I think I've already got it. I think I already sent you one. It won't yeah. let me copy and paste. God damn it. There oh, it is. Oh, the frame rate is absolutely amazing right now. I'm yeah. about to crash into the station if I don't get a frame. Um. I don't have too many ships here right now, but if you want, I believe it's what hangar am I? Oh, okay. I'm in hangar two with my 85x. Oh crap! What's an 85x? It's a Welcome little origin ship. To the ASOP <laughs> it's little. It's a little two seater. You got bigger stuff? Yeah, uh, yeah. I've got like the Carrick 890 and everything like that. I just nice. don't have it here. It's down at. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Cabbage itself. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Like, I don't even know. I haven't we're, been playing. We're, we're at the station above New Babbage. Anu. That one's unknown. I've got, the, I've got the Defender as well. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. I'm just trying to figure out where everything's at. Like I said, I've been playing PTU. I haven't even logged into the live servers. I've got, like, fit over 50 different ships, so. I got most of them. Good news, uh, I'm at the station. Bad news. I, uh, you can mute the stream tab if you're yep. concerned about the audio. Um, yeah, I that way you're not. I muted it, but for me, it well, so the the way that works is um, if you mute the player, like if you hit the the actual bell on the player to make it go X, then that actually doesn't count as still watching the stream. But if you right click mute the tab or you like lower the volume in windows for the browser, then that still counts as views. Um, 
what's the uh, um, hanger pad? We're at two. It's at two. two. It's if, just uh, if, he is, if he is still able to load in, I thought he was down at New Babbage, but if he is still loaded in, I'll need to grab it to something else. I uh, I I crashed into the station. Yeah. All right. Oh, like crash, crash. <laughs> like I said, if I didn't get frame rate, I crash, and I did not get frame rate. Yeah, that's this game is so very. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, I hadn't actually seen this one already. I like this ship. It's very sharp. Yes. It's a, it's very nice to just uh, go uh, from jump to place to place. Sure. Yeah. No. It's uh. This fits inside one of the um, the 400, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. I'm trying to remember it what. Might, it might. It'll definitely fit the 890. Well, the 300 fits in the 890. No. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, the three hundred. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, I was thinking of the four hundred. Whenever. Yeah, I know for a fact that one fits the eight ninety. Yeah, I, 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 I put my three twenty five A and my eight ninety all the time. Are y'all in a hangar? Yeah, we're in two. Oh yeah, two. Here, grab your Aurora because this only has two seats. Oh me. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a ride. Take her out of the last head and then flip the power off randomly. <laughs> oh, are you in the crab? Hmm? No, we're not in the crab. Nice. Uh, let's, where's the Babbage? There it is. Okay. I was actually surprised that you could capture the 890. Like, you do the mission and you just take the ship. Like, I was like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I would have most of my ships up there, but like the 890, uh, gets stuck. Uh, you can't, you can't move it after you undock. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So you have to, so you have to spawn it from a planet, which sucks even more because it's a whale. Yeah. No, that's the uh, same thing with the reclaimer. Not that I have a reclaimer, but I'm on the PTU. It just, ugh. It sucks because you want to go to Orison. To get the um, the jump drive, because otherwise it's a mer it's just off. Oh. But I think Orison's atmosphere still plays hell with the reclaimer. All of them do, but Orison is particularly not fun. And so <laughs> it was. Why do we have a red spot? I don't know what the that's a player down here. I guess. What's he in? Cutlass Black. Cutlass Black, yeah. I'm gonna say it's probably me, because I've crashed with so many people and things. Get your crime stats for killing people from crashing? I don't think he's got a crime stat yet. He, he just got the game, like, uh, a couple days ago. Oh, I, I've, so I've he's new him. new. Yeah, I've been showing him around a little bit. All he's got is Very Aurora. Cool. Is his Aurora. I've been showing him around. I've been playing since, I believe, 17-1. So. There? Yeah, I just started myself. So. Where did y'all go? We uh, went down Babbage. to Babbage. Oh. We'll pick up a bigger ship. Yeah. Oh no, I see y'all. Are y'all getting yeah. in the jump? We don't need to get in the jump. No. Yep. I don't think we need a jump. Uh. What are we uh doing for mission? I don't care. How do I get out of the seat? What the fuck? Uh, hold away. Sometimes it has to close the canopy again before it. I think that might have been what it was. Sorry, right, I just used the exit button. Get my armor set back on. I always crash into the station. <laughs> You'll learn. You'll learn. So, if you're trying to break quickly, which sounds like a problem, first thing is always make sure that your cruise control's off, which is a yeah. big mistake that I make a lot, too. Oh, yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally tap you're C hitting, all the like, time. V or you hit X or something and it taps that C button, it turns on cruise control and you're like, you're holding back and you're trying to break and it's just not stopping. It's because cruise control's on. The other thing is, is when you hold, like, you can um, afterburn in whatever direction you're holding in. That includes brake. So if you hold X and hit shift, you can actually afterburn your brakes, but you can also hold back at the same time. 
and that will slow you as fast as you can possibly slow in your ship, um, aside from retro burning, right? Obviously, if you spin in the opposite direction and then thrust forward with the booster, you will slow down uh, with a retro burn as well, so. Medical rescue? There you go. Wait, is he like... So he, yeah, he's dying, he, he, and he he's, wants he's help. Basically, oh, you got you, most of the time. You have about an hour to go get to him, and yeah, uh, we you have, have any uh, med shots? Uh, not on me at the moment. All right, I'll. You would uh, ideally you would use um the so have one yeah med gun. Oh, do what you have what a, ship do you want to bring? Uh, what you got? Uh, a bunch of stuff. Let's see. I've got like yeah. 50 different ships. So it doesn't scroll down with it, but I've got Scorpius, you know, the Constellation Phoenix, uh, all the Origin ships, you know, at least one of each variant. Uh, Prospector, you know, Talons, Cutlasses, C2, A2, Cartuol, you know, the Vanguards. So, Hammerhead. what are we doing? Uh, you probably have your missions maxed out and shit too, right? Not quite. Not all of them. But so what mainly missions? bounty hunting. Bounty hunting. I, I've got, I believe, HRTs in bounty hunting. That's good money, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't really know, but I assume that's good money. Or I could bring my constellation and we could grab like a uh, little car and that and do bunker missions. I, I I like bunker missions. Bunker missions are fun. Right. I'll grab my constellation then. Um, alternatively, awesome. yeah, yeah, that's probably the best option. Do you have Should... a spare med gun? I might. Uh, I can look. Ready to let me just let it just. Located in the plaza. Your turn. Uh, utility. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, Do four, not, five, six. But I've got I've got seven different med guns. So oh yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I can have one. Yeah, come to Babbage. I'll, yeah, I'll keep it in my bag. This guy's like a 15 foot reward. You can also turn your multi tool into a med kit too. Are you here in front of me? It's not me. I don't think. Or it right, is me, but that's not him. <laughs> I'm not him. Okay. He, he, he's flying down. Okay. So we're not you... him. We're not him. Hang on, Chen. Let's go grab the uh, vehicles or whatever vehicle. I got a bunch uh... of cars. Because turrets don't like us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, to Turrets won't shoot uh, ground-based vehicles. No. They'll, so, shoot, they'll shoot, like, you know, hover bikes and hover yeah, stuff. Yeah, but they're not, I mean, they're not really ground-based. They hover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they've got wheels, let me rephrase that. If They won't shoot wheeled vehicles. There. At least right now. Yeah. Which is nice. Yes, it is. I'm so mad that they're taking the med bay out of the Carrick. It kind of defeats the whole purpose they for it are? to be an expedition. Well, that's the, what everybody keeps saying. My brother was saying it, and then I was listening to another guy was saying that eventually it's supposed to go away, but well, if that's I supposed I... to be your jump ship. That doesn't make any sense why you would get rid of your respawn point. Yeah, I guess. I, but I guess I get why, because they added the Pisces, the medical Pisces. Well, yeah, but it's not a respawn point. Yeah. Um, they're supposed to be, I, I guess it's because of the size. I guess they're adding capital ships that have respawn bays, like literal respawn bays. Like the 890 Jump has one. So, I mean, I don't know if it will have, but. Hopefully it stays. I, that's one reason I like the 890s, you know. It's, it's a nice ship. It's huge. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> also, the fact that I can fit my Scorpius in it. Right? Gyro mode, gyro mode, power, where's power? Uh, also, if you want to turn gyro mode on, you should, you should be able to press X. Welcome X to the yeah, I know how to turn gyro mode on. It's the staggered mode that I always can't find. I don't really care, though. Oh, B. Okay, I found it. <clears throat> oh, is he down there? Oh, we gotta uh, get your I'm car. car. That's right. I'll bring the one of the, like the uh, tumbler systems with that with the turret, so we can have all three of us in it. Or, I think the Ursa rover could fit in here as well, but uh, yes, it, it Ursa fits fit. in here. Yes, it's a very tight fit, but it fits. The Ursa does fit in this. 
And that's probably a better option for loot. Yeah. Well, you I can't know. really put... I mean, you could put loot in the, the one, but you can't put loot in the other, so... Engine's off. I love the blue lighting, man. Where'd it go? It's because the power was off. It does look really nice like that, though. Yeah, no, that's like stage blue and shit. Stage blacks. Not stage blacks, but scene change lights. Alright. I had, I had, to, get, I had to get the luxury variant of it, you know? Wait. Right, of course. I was trying to land this whole time. No way to stop me. Oh, this is different than the one my brother has. Yeah, he probably has the, uh... The, this is the, the stock. Variant. So this is the Phoenix? Yes, this is the Phoenix. This is the one this is the most expensive one. Nice. I believe all the other ones cost around like two to three mil, while this one costs five. Fuck yeah, that's worth it. Most of the other ones are like uh one of them has more missiles and everything like that. Don't hit me! And some of them Some of them have uh other guns. But Right, yeah, the wait, Taurus wait, is the missile head. boat. Yeah. And then I believe it's the Aquila that has like a rounded canopy on like it, while instead of Welcome the... To the... I think it's the Aquila. Vehicle retrieval system. Let's see. Uh, Ursa Rover. Welcome I gotta claim it, but it should be instant. Vehicle retrieval system. Should be, yeah. Yeah. Well, instant-ish. <laughs> it costs a little bit of money, but I got plenty. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Please visit us again. Welcome Goodbye. to the right, ASOP vehicle one. retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Where's that? Where's that? I don't think you can... We can have both of them in there. I think Probably not. Joey, I'm right here. Alright. Um, wow, look at you guys in your red suits. Where'd you get those? I, I, gave, I, I gave him this. Uh, the IE. You can't buy it anymore. Oh, nice. It was a limited time. Wait, why would you give me this if you can't buy it anymore? Is this going to reset? <laughs> yeah. the, the, it's all disappearing soon. Here, here's that medical gun. It should drop on the floor. Maybe. Possibly. I, I actually was looking at the sub shop and some of the armors in there are actually really cool and I'm going to have to pick some of them up at some point, but they're going to be the limited time ones, not the ones that are just available. Yeah. So, believe me, I was looking at that I was like, eh, some of that stuff looks uh, really good. The door didn't open all the way. Uh, so use the oh, comms works. in the... Yeah, I, yeah, I got the... Um... I was talking about the rear door to the house. Okay oh, gotcha. <laughs> it like opened up halfway and then closed and then opened again. There we go. Oh shit! Check fire. It's fast. Nah, somebody parked a busted rover in, in the user, way. Are you in, user, are you in the back of the Ursa? Hop in. Oh yeah, with the Ursa, so there's no way more than one's gonna fit, but... Go into my Aurora. Oh, okay. There was your Aurora. <laughs> I can't oh, see what? shit! How did I get here? This gives us a little turret too, and all three of us can definitely fit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what they mean, tight fit. It also kind of hits the on the roof. It kind of makes it suspension um, compress, but we're, we'll be good. It's fair. It's, it's just, it's just a little, th a bit of a tight fit. They just need to make it so you can like deflate the brakes type of thing, right? Or shocks, brakes, air shocks. Oh, also, I guess that's a feature. There's no cool. need to um, open the doors to get out. Look where it put me. Oh yeah, I just. I <laughs> I hopped out of it. It's uh. Where's the, the? The button's right here. It's a little itty bitty button right here. Right here. Uh, wait. Not not, the, not on the car. It's on the pillar. Right, right back, right beside you. Oh, okay. Wow. It's gotcha. tiny little button. Yeah, it's just like a little switch. Close. Oh, even uh, smaller.
Yeah, see, there's the suspension going. Oh, it's because that turret. Yep. So either... It, it should be fine, though. Deflate the suspension or allow the turret to go inside. It, it'll work. I, I've used the this thing in here. Oh, no, I know. I mean, I just, as far as, like, to make it actually properly fit, like, the, I guess there's... There's, there's guess. a way to put the turret on the side, but I don't know exactly how. You can mount the turret to the side of this thing? Yeah, uh, I believe if you turn... Here, hang on, let me come back down. I believe if you turn power off, it actually makes the turret go sideways. I don't want to do it while we're in here, though. Cause Fair it's enough. Up, rubbing up against the roof, I don't want it to move. Right, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's out. Because Star Citizen. Right. Playing. Now you want share this I with do you. like this layout, damn. <laughs> Traveling in style. Oh, yeah. Can I share that with you? What? So wait, does the... Does the what? Does the, um... Oh, Black Kite, that's a good one. But see, if I, um do this if you look see now all the blue and that's back yeah i was right. gonna say does the docking in this work yet i don't think it does so no, i don't think so the little ship on the back does but oh it does because it wasn't working on my brothers i think they deactivated it because they weren't working so yours might work the the, the high-end model might work but i know for sure that the the normal we constellation wasn't working. It's also a different snub ship. They, you get the Merlin with the other ones, and this one gets Archimedes. That might be why. It might be the Merlin that's breaking. That would make sense. All right. Did you share that contract? If so, can you share it again? I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Black. Uh, Did he not come with us? He's in his Aurora. Oh. He, he's getting to learn how to fly, I guess, a little bit. Ah. He, he's, he's still new to flying. Yeah, the fun's in multi-crew, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. But it's totally in multi-crew. Especially when you get in a conflict. Oh, yeah. This thing is a beast, though, even once you get yes, this thing fully crewed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like, for how much it costs, even like the cheaper ones, having the two turrets and everything like that, plus, you know, your four size four gimbal, like, yes. it shred through stuff. Yes. <laughs> My game uh, here may not have crashed. Maybe it's just frozen. That is weird that you're having so many crashing problems, considering. It's his memory. If he's, if he's low on physical memory. Or even, uh, like, between the... Because if his hard drive's filled up, then there's not as much page file because Windows manages that shit manually, and it defaults to four gigabytes. He's tried uh, deleting stuff out of there and everything, but he, he just can't figure out what's taking up all the space. Inbound missile. Wait, what? He, he probably got a crime set, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe yeah. someone's just trying to shoot him. Where are you at? Um, oh, I'm... Being shot at by some some poor soul, or I, I don't know who's shooting at me. I'm looking for him. I don't see him. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I don't got anything. I'm lo I'm looking for user himself because I don't I don't see. Him. I don't know what I did. Neither do I. Let's see, put a beacon on you. There you are, okay, you're up there. I'm kind of quantum jumping. Okay. So you're quantum jumping? Yeah. Because I was about to quantum jump to you, I said. Yeah, I'm on the wrong turret. This bottom turret blows. Yeah. I'm flying towards the sun. <laughs> Don't burn up. I don't think I'm going that close to it. I don't know what this contract is about. The black wait, will it not let me go into the top turret? Uh, you gotta wait for stuff to move around. It sounds like your stuff's moving around back there. Because they're right on top of each other. 
So. Yeah, I, I'm not looking at the bottom turret though, but every time I click it while looking at the top turret, it keeps putting me in the bottom turret. Let's try to look at it. Out. Oh wow, this one is so much faster. This quad try it right from this side. Oh wait, no, there it went. I went from a grade D to grade A. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Oh yeah. No, nope, it did the bottom again. Here, I'll let me put cruise control on while pointing up and I'll see if I can't help out. Weird. I'm wondering if it's just gotta fill one first. It doesn't make any sense though. If so, I will hop in the bottom turret real quick. I just put it on cruise control. Maybe I'm just not like doing it from the right spot, I guess. I can't physically quantum jump here. Or can I? Can I like set a route to it? Uh, you should, might be able to. Here. See if you can hop in the top turret now once I. Once it puts me all the way down. Is it letting you in there now? Yeah. Weird. It drops it when I click it that way, but I was doing the same thing earlier and it was kept bringing it to the bottom. Although. This time it showed up as the teal and not the green, so I guess there's that. Right. I guess these planets are pretty close together. Whatever it is. Yeah, whenever, this is normally the first ship I try to buy because, you know, if we're doing bounties and stuff like that, it. PvE bounties at least. Right. It works good, and also you can do, you know, bunkers and stuff like that pretty fairly easy with it as well. Yeah, I know. It's just size is a little bit of an issue, but yeah, I like the cutlass for that because like you bring it in, you drop it down, you roll the tumbler out the back, and boom, boom, yeah. done. Like, oh, is this a nebula? Probably. I did, I did that before I uh, what do you call it? Got the uh. Right. Once you get this, obviously, then that's obsolete. But until you get it. I used this thing for bounties and stuff like that. I, I, I'd probably do the Cutlass after, you know, on this next wipe because I have the Scorpius now. So, so I wanted I wanted something that would do bounties as good as well. Right. That makes sense. If you're doing bounties, you want to be able to keep doing the bounties. Yeah. Because by myself, I normally do bounties and then, you know, uh, while multi crewing with people, I would do bunkers and stuff like that. So. That makes sense. This worked good for both of that because I could do bounties by myself with it and then. But now, now that I played the Scorpius, I can just do bounties with that thing. Scorpius is definitely a very fun ship. Especially once you get it fully crewed, which, you know, it isn't that hard. Did you see the big ship, the black kite? No. Did you? No, I haven't seen it yet. I don't think it gives you an exact location. I think it's... No, uh, you have to find it. Yeah, the jump gives you an exact location with the distress beacon, but... This one does not. The legal yeah, one might here. give you a good one. I don't know. I forget. Yeah. But... I'm trying to look in these, uh, scan locations. Also remember that you can narrow your scanning and stuff too. I forgot how to do that. It's been a minute. I've... It's period and comma. They fix it in 318 though, and it runs off of when you switch to V, you just use the mouse wheel. And okay. the, uh, focus wheel there actually changes instead of having to hit the buttons manually. Which is nice, right? Yeah. The little thing sometimes that there's a little quality of life. I did 
Yeah, you got contacts. That's the black height. Yep, there there's our target. There should be no uh, guards. Yeah, the, 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 unlike the, uh, what do you call it? This one's a straight the, shot. The black height. This is the um, the. This is the chip and upload, then blow it up. Right. Yeah. I, I believe Crusader and I think Crusader has one, and I think uh, we got our car. Well, there's a couple two. different types. There's yeah. the Black Kite, and then there's the October Rising. Yeah. The October Rising is. is th there may be another one. Those are the two that I know. Of. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm still new. Yeah. I've done like three different types of missions. Uh, I think there's three of them, but I'm not 100% on that. They need to adjust this um, Don't crash into it. panel on the left here. It's got a flicker down there in the... Got some Z fighting on that little black thing right there. Wait, so there should be no one I have to kill, right? No. No, there's nobody here. And we're Just... coming in a little hot. I guess there is that one... Blue thing there. It's a uh, oh, it's a you. Okay. <laughs> I came in a little hot on that. I also did. Little hot. <laughs> Just a little. Kind of overshot it by four kilometers, but. I overshot it. Love it. I did this mission with someone who was brand new. We came up to it with a real small ship or whatever, and just the gasp he had whenever we got because he was in the back of the ship and, I opened <laughs> right. and whenever he seen this big ship because I hadn't showed him a big <laughs> ship before, bro, it was whole, it was priceless. Dude. This thing is massive. This is yeah. like this is like I, Transformers on crack. Massive. I believe this is taller than the 890, but I believe the 890 is longer. Yes, the 890 is longer, and I think at its tallest point, it's taller probably. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to see them side by side on a landing pad to tell for sure. <laughs> I think this one is a little bit taller, but I'm not 100% on that. This one feels more massive, though, I think, because, I don't know, it feels alive like a fucking caterpillar or crab or an ant or some shit. I forget what it looks like, but... Yeah, I feel like it looks like an ant. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it looks like it's some kind of a worker insect. Yeah. Like, that's for sure. What the? <laughs> so, uh... Mm, no. For future reference, do not use the back elevator to get into this thing. Don't? Uh, yeah, not to go in, because you have the potential of breaking it. Um... The elevator to actually get in is in the front. You can go up this, but if you go up this and you go to like any other floor except for like I think it's habitation, it can break. And then when you're in habitation, you've got to go to the balcony and then go down. Um, if there's you don't go to the there's balcony, there's it breaks. An airlock right up here that I normally go in. Yeah. So this this can get weird, and if you go up it, you can possibly get stuck in it. That's why we recommend you don't go inside yeah. that elevator. If you get stuck, you're kind of boned. All right. You have to die. There's no way to get out. Oh, shoot. Of course. I, I forgot to bring a gun and then also the tractor beam. It uh, doesn't have... Uh, what do you call it? Stuff in it. It's all good. So there was a chip on the table there that I picked yeah. up. Yeah. Come on. Look, get the gun away. Tried to pick it up. Uh, did it equip it? Let it go. Oh, yeah. Right now, I, I can't see you personally. It says you're, you know, 39 million kilometers away, but, you know, which is very interesting. It says I'm 30 million kilometers away? Yes. That means that I am desynced. Yes. It's happened many times, but... So, hang on. Here, uh, punch me. Resync me. Uh, I cannot see you. Uh, use your probably hand. I have to if you can see him. Can you Here. see him? I felt it. I don't. I don't. Oh, I felt. It. No. No. <laughs> These forty I, million I, kilometers I, away and closing. You know, I can feel it. We'll, we'll, we'll just. I, I can see where you're at on your stream, so I'll just. All right. So to do this, we just go to the back now. 
<laughs> which is where we might have a problem. <laughs> um, okay. Uh oh. There we go. So, call the elevator up, see if it comes. Because if it doesn't come, then. That was a good mission. <laughs> if it doesn't show up, good mission. Nice knowing you. Very buggy. I mean, I guess we do have the ladder here, but. You can't actually get into the elevator through the ladder. Yeah. So, there it goes. Okay, it actually is going to work. So, okay. since you activated it the first time, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter since we I called it up, so Where we'll just take it to the balcony. I find that if it goes all balcony. the way up, yeah. yeah. If it goes all the way up, it tends to not break as often. All right. That's been my luck with it. It still can, but... I've only used this, uh, what do you call it? I've only done this mission once, so... Alright, so there's guys down there. Um, there's also possibly a guy on the rail up here. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, if you... Uh, yeah, I in the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go run and punch him. And then... I, 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 oh, there's a guy. Uh, and I, I got him. Here, don't do it. Oh, you got him. Uh, do you want it? Or... Yes, I don't have anything. Somebody had something. They shot him. Yeah, he's got a pistol. Ah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't shoot. He's kind of mad now. How do we get that? Looks mad. How do we get that? Oh, shit! They saw me! Yep, they see me. Good thing I brought my med gun. Generally not a good idea to use the bed cut on yourself, <laughs> but I don't think I have the other. Yeah, they 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 good at shooting. Now they, they got a tier three hit to the head right immediately. <laughs> I'm not very good at getting out of the hole, so. Alright, so in here, uh, on this table back here, there's always a tiger claw and a uh, hem syringe, health syringe, on this back one, and then on this one over there's here as well. Right so there's always a med and a tiger claw on these two tables, this one and then the one in the back. How do I equip the med gun? Is that or something? The med gun he has four and three, I... I forget what that is, but... Three is rockets, launchers, okay. rail guns. And then two is your main guns, and one is pistol. Yes. And hopefully I didn't just lose my inventory. Cool. I can't, uh... I can't see my inventory. I may have possibly thrown the thing we need, but it should be nearby. Yeah, I see, I see where it says, it says description key over here, somewhere over here. It's probably on top of the... How do we get on? Go. Do you see where it says description key? Uh, it's in yellow. That should be back where we started. It should be in here, though, unless it reset it. Hang on, let me... Let me double check. See, uh, I can't get up there. We'll probably have to take an elevator. Probably... No, hang on, you can get up here. That's where it is. I know there was a way up here. Yes, I want a grenade launcher. Oh, you found the grenade launcher. That's... No, it's not here. Well, how do I get up? Give me how you get up. Oh, he went down the salvage hold. Oh! Uh, come back up the way you came. <laughs> I kind of just dropped. I, I, he can't. He he went down the uh, slope. Yes. Uh, take coward's way out, right? 
the, the, at the other end of it, there should be the elevator. Actually, is there an elevator down there? I think so. Here, I'm gonna go down there with him. I got, I've gotten out of this before. I forget how, but I got, I've gotten out of it before. See, I thought it was a ladder, but. I think I found it, but I think we need a uh, tractor beam. Knock them both out and then take the tractor beam. I have the uh, multi-tool, but I don't have... Oh, no, man. Grip. You can just grip it. Here, watch out. User, get off. There's a big crate that we gotta move. This thing. Oh, dang it. It's grippy. Give you some corpses? <laughs> Oh shit, this guy's got heavy armor. No, oh, nice. Yoink. Alright, uh, well. Here we go. Probably gotta uh, do something like that again. Help me, help Good me, job. Help me. I don't think I can help you. I figured out how to get out, but I don't know how to help you. Do you have a tractor beam? I do. We may need to knock user out and then. <laughs> He kind of put himself in a hole. Oh, you're not supposed to do that, dude. No. <laughs> but I could get around it. Uh, I want the chest piece, but shit, I don't want to strip it. Damn it. All right. It's hurting. It's fine if it's hurting. We're going to have to knock you out, so. All right, we... Let's go drop my backpack. We, we can talk about this, you know. It doesn't have to be so violent. Oh, it does, though. It, it does. does. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shoot you and kill you, and then we're gonna have to lift you up. No, we can talk about this. I don't know, you should have thought about that before you jumped down the hole. I know how to get out from here, it's just the way he went, we can't get out. He can't get out. We, we can talk about this, all right? No. You I mean, could just chemical, like, KO him with chemicals. Probably quicker. Or punch him to death. I, I was just gonna shoot him with a bullet. I guess that works, but then he's bleeding. <laughs> we can talk about this. I have a med kit. Yeah, he, we, can, we can, we'll fix him up. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about this, then. <laughs> no. No, you don't no. really need to kill the guy, do you? I mean... It, it'll just knock him out. <laughs> Don't you dare shoot me. I, I, have, I have to. It's I gonna do the same, it's gonna do the same thing as if I were to punch you to death. Fine. Except for make you bleed. <laughs> the the med gunner will fix it. <laughs> Can you even get and that? I, and I, no, and I can't get back there to punch him. Without getting stuck myself, so. Why'd you shoot me? What? Wait, hang on. You guys are in the. Cargo hold thing. Go, you just got here. Can you hang see on. my name? Here. I'm just gonna keep pressing right back. back don't, don't backspace. Come oh, down this on. way. Not the, it's not the elevator. Alright. The, unless. There, there, there's I'm a way to get down different... it from there, yes, but um, we're kind of midway through. Oh, salvage. It's the salvage hold. Salvage, Actually, salvage. Think, it's the second the salvage bay. This, this is the elevator here. Are you on the elevator right now? I'll just call it. And it should, here. I, I called it. It should bring out uh, you here. I don't think it, I don't think that elevator, that, that one's active. Because there's salvage balcony, habitation, salvage processing, salvage hold. You salvage holes. This, this is just called salvage. 
but salvage hold is there. Which is weird, because that should be the cargo hold. Because the salvage hold technically is right there. But that's the one I can't get to. Is someone gonna... Oh, oh wait. Nope, there it went. Oh, wait, no, that's because... Yeah, here we go. Alright. Gotta hop up here. And he's it here back right back here in the hole. <laughs> yeah, we just got a tractor beam him. Yeah, as soon as it lets me take the tractor beam out and quit trying to fuck with the tiger claw. And I'll revive. We're gonna throw him around a little bit for that. Yeah. Getting stuck. Oops, my bad. Oops, sorry. Before we lose his body, uh, let me re let's revive him. Oh. <laughs> throw him into oblivion. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go, he's off X. Go further, never mind. Uh, so we gotta go find the decryption key. Yeah. Which, it should be reset. Uh, hang on. Different I don't have the key. Hey, user, back in the elevator. Uh-oh. That's hilarious that you can see us, but, you know. Uh-oh. Elevator working? What floor do we need to go to? Uh, you know what? <laughs> we need to go to habitation. I think the elevator might be broken. Uh, we might actually be about 30k, maybe? Could be. Yeah. No. No. No, no, no. I'm looking at the wrong number. Uh, it said we have. I have left the reclaimer. Why'd you punch me? I think it's a 30k, that's why. It might actually be a 30k. Yeah, because it just said I left the ship. No, there we go. It's moving. Hey. Just take it to wherever it moves to, and then we'll... This looks like the right spot. Yep, this is the one we need. No, there's a dead spot in the elevator, actually, so... Alright, I grabbed the key. Now, we're, now we need to go back down there and put it yeah, in. Yeah, back to the salvage hold. You guys do that, I'll go take care of the uh, second part of this mission. Alright, uh, salvage hold. It do doesn't sound it. ominous at all, does it? <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, make the ship go boom. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna let him do that, actually. You yeah, have to come up. Yeah, he's no. Yeah, he. I don't think he's ever uh, self-destructed a ship. Oh, well, that's first time for everything. Do I have to leave the ship before I self-destruct it? No, you have to self-destruct it, then leave the ship before it blows you up. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long does uh, that take? A minute and twenty seconds. Exactly. You get a, you, you get a minute and twenty seconds to get out uh, out of the ship. I don't know how long it takes. To it shouldn't get take that long. I actually no. figured out how to make this quicker. If you open this uh, elevator in here, and like you send the elevator down without anybody in it, so I can make it do it. Uh, I'm going to curse the server by staying 30k. This is the wrong one. We went down a. There we go. Too far. So once you empty the elevator here, all you gotta do is just like drop yourself out there. You might take a little bit of damage, but you won't blow up. Oh, I didn't Wait, why are we going down? What? I didn't click anything. It's you probably cycling through. Every time you hit a button on that, uh, it's got like a memory, and so it's gotta like reset and go through them all before it'll like clear its memory and shit, or something. That seems to be what I've noticed with it. It's very particular. Also, every person that hits that button makes it go to a floor, and so like it's going through every one of those pushes. I'm gonna give myself a heart attack. 
But if we're doing more of these, make sure to grab the decoder key after you actually, when it kicks it back out, because you don't have to keep grabbing that key back. You can get one of those keys and keep them. Oh, yeah. And then anytime you have this mission, you have the key already equipped, you just go straight to the thing, put the key in, and you're done. Like, yeah. it's freaking cool as shit. Little hacks and shit, like how to quickly get your mission done. Skip that whole part, go in the back door, or come right up the elevator in that case. My bad, I gotta, I gotta loot some bodies. Alright, now where did it put the decryption key? There's a tiger claw. Did you equip it? It was in my hand. Oh, did you hit R? I don't think so. Did you hit any button? Because if you hit a button, it'll throw it. Other than, uh... Nope, the... it's right here. It is? What the heck? Alright. I, right. I, went to go, I went to go press the, uh, what do you call it, elevator button in it. It's coming to me. It should be. Our right. button's still lit, so... Man, Twice, vision vision is very blurry because that AI was able to headshot me. You need health? You need healing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to go to a bed though because. Wait, sure, I have a med gun. I have a med gun as well. It, you can't fix a level 3 with just a med gun. No, you gotta have a. Um... Bed. How do you... I, be I, I believe the Cutlass Red could do it, but. Yeah, I don't have a Cutlass Red. I'd like a Cutlass Red though, I think, at some point. That'd be nice. That's all. If, if you want, instead of using the. Connie, I have a Cutlass Red. The Cutlass have... Red would be, if we're doing a lot of these, probably make more sense, because we don't have a bed otherwise. I, I, I have one. It doesn't... I can't... Unless I we run a Carrick, and then run the, um... Like the... the Medici 8. I don't... I don't have that one. But yeah, I, I know. Is, the gun, is it opening at all for you? That Hit the button scary. again. It might be. Or no, the elevator's gone. It left. It's heading up that way. So it's probably stopping at all the other floors we hit. <laughs> yeah, probably. Great. Oh, I can throw magazines at people. I'm gonna see if I can activate it from below. Yeah, next pledge I do, I'll probably do a cutlass red, to be honest. Because. Let's see if we can activate it from out here. I see where it's at, it's at the balcony. Is it up? Take it from the balcony. Because if you can activate it from inside, take it back to habitation deck. See uh, if it'll I actually get, go. I, I, can't, I can't get up yeah, you to can. the balcony. Hey Ken, you just have to go back towards the other side where the computer terminal is. There's a um, a small black server rack that you can jump up and then climb up and get on the balcony that way. Mom, I'm just sitting here having no idea what to do. Yeah, I see you. And I'm sure we've got room for more, so if anybody else wants to join us... Alright, cool, it showed up. I got it. All right, back to salvage balcony. That I believe way. in one of these uh, missions, you have to find like the dead captain or whatever, basically. Uh, there's one where you have to do the uh, get a key code because there's like a box locked up and shit. But the key code is just like all over the ship. It's like on a bunch of data pads and shit. All right. That's the wrong key. Nope, that's the right one. Insert. What are we trying to do, Toby? Uh, uh, transferring data. Here. Uh, there's the decryption key. We had to put it into this right here in this computer, and it will do stuff on this laptop. All right, we're done. Now we have to. Now we go blow it up. So to get out of here, we go up this little black rack. 
jump onto this over here. Since it's already up here, we don't want to try to call it. It might break. And then up y'all. I'm glad they added that, because that, that makes this, you know... Yeah, you can jump in and jump out. You technically could do this without actually killing anybody if you just knocked out a couple people. But, you risk a lot of, like, death because AI in this game is... <laughs> wonky at best. Alright. Uh, we want to go back to Habitation. It might be that these panels are labeled differently. Yeah, it just took us down. There it is. All right, we're good. Habitation. So, in order to... Uh, you might want to go to your ship, actually. I'll get him, walk him through the, the detonation process. Show him how to get out? <laughs> yeah. So you don't have to walk all the way around the galley, you can walk right through that little middle room, but uh, the cockpit's over this way, there's two guys in here usually. Sometimes there might be a third in that little middle room. Um, Isn't there an elevator toward the front of the ship? Yeah, yeah, it's down in the cockpit. <clears throat> Wait, I'll just watch this through, so I don't go. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Fair enough. So the bridge, it's labeled. Oh, no. Go yeah, down the bridge. I kind of barely clipped my legs on the ship. That was an oh, odd experience. Alright, so the elevator in here, this is your exit route, is going to be there. You don't actually need to put the elevator down unless you have more than one person running. Uh, but then you come into here, pilot seats this seat right here, you get into that seat, you hit backspace, you get out of that seat, you run back down this way. You go to the elevator, and then you jump, you drop, and you spacewalk. And then the ship blows up. Ideally, the ship that you're going into is sitting right here waiting for you so that you just get I'm, on the ship and go high, away. Yeah, I'm right here. Uh, and then, top hatch. My arm right. was messed up, so I'm getting out this real quick. Alright, top hatch is open. Are you ready? You got this? I go. No not, pressure. We'll, if not, we'll pick you up at the satellite above Babbage. <laughs> when you die. <laughs> so I have a minute and 30 seconds to do that. Uh, you got this. It's not hard. Worst part is, is I, I'm having to fly in first person because my arm is messed up. You want to see if, you, if it... Uh, try to the bed. Try to go lay down on the bed. I'm mentally damaged. Because it's it's putting it's putting my uh, arm over my face. So yeah, I, I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah, if you try to go to the bed though, sometimes it'll fix it. it not always, but it's fixed it for me on occasion. All right, coming down. It also could be that I just have brain damage because the AI had shot me. That's okay. probably possible. I have real life brain damage. I won't judge you on that. I mean, uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm joking. But... Shouldn't judge anybody on that, you know. Yeah. No. Each their own. I am joking. Okay, self-destruct initiated. You better run out. What's the button to get out of it? Why? <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> All right. Open door. I'm gonna go wait for him at the hatch. Open door. Close door. Open door. Let me out. Good. Let, let me out. Okay, there you go. Did you see us? Did you uh, burn him out right here? He came crashing down. That was pretty hard, dude. <laughs> right, below you, right below you, right below you, right below you. Right below you. See the opening? See the opening in the top? Oh, shit. <laughs> it was right below you, dude. Oh, he's going for his ship. He's not gonna make it. We're out of here. <laughs> Y'all just made me. Uh, no, we waited. You left. We're out of here. <laughs> Shit's gonna blow. <laughs> hey, we, we should be good right here. I wanna watch it blow up. Uh, how far? Yeah, we're good. 
1300 should be more than enough. Let me in. Uh, he's gonna die. Yeah, he is. Three, two. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh god. <laughs> Let's go see if his corpse is there though, get his loot. I don't think he died. Oh, he didn't. I did. He's still alive. No, I'm not. Okay. I have a med gun. I'll go save him. I, I can't, I'm not alive. No, you are floating in space. Don't do anything. We might be able to save you. I'm about to respawn. Don't, don't, don't respawn. Don't respawn. I'm, I'm no, hurrying. I have, a, I have a fully black screen. It's fine. It's, as long as you're not respawning and it's not forcing you to respawn, you're good. Um, You may need to save him because he's desynced for me. I'm coming. Or, or he's just far away because it says he's 4 million kilometers. He might have respawned. Did it respawn? Yeah, we didn't get to him fast enough. I don't I don't think you could get to me fast enough. There was nothing left of my shit. You, you, you would have been fine. I, yeah, he responded. I don't see his corpse though either. No, he probably brought it with him. I don't know. I don't see I'm, it either. I'm on a hospital bed. Also, corpses are kind of hard to see in pitch black. He might have a marker for it though. So... But if he doesn't have a marker yeah, wait, for it, it, then where? Uh, I think there's a rock that's kind of far away, but right in front of me this way. Um, on a hop, I, I just got out of the hop. Oh, I see. Is that what you're looking at? Way the fuck up there? No. Yeah, it's way all over there, but I'm not 100% if it's it. I don't think so. That just looks like a rock. It might have vaporized the shit too, cause. No, whenever you cr whenever you shit blows up, normally it does vaporize your everything. It did. I mean, if you've got a waypoint that gives you a marker with an X on it, then it's possible your corpse still exists, but that's not a hundred percent guarantee either. And but also, sometimes it, I've seen it to where you know the shit blows up and it, your <laughs> body kind of just floats away because of the blast. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, Why that do too. Care about my corpse. Cause your loot, you yeah. can pick your loot back up and not have to get more. You, you got that rare, uh, armor. That too? <laughs> Had that rare armor. <laughs> yeah, see, if it's in, see if it's in your inventory yet. It's not. Okay. I, I stocked up on it, and also, you know, it's about a wipe. Yeah. Cool little I, you know, deal. But what is that? You know, it didn't fix my arm. Look, look over there. Yeah. Over here. If you have, you <laughs> There's a couple ways that they said you could fix that, but I, I don't know how to I fix it. How, but it, it's going right in front of my face. It's hilarious. From what I understand, though, it happens if you like try to sit in the chairs and shit uh, with a gun out without actually putting the gun and shit away first. I, it, it's also probably random, but I've noticed um, that it definitely seems to have a uh, something to do with it. At least I got the 50k. Yeah. All right, so let me. It looks like it did fix. No, I got, I got no. Well, you got a portion of the 50k, right? It should have split it. Yeah. That's... All right. I can't see him. He's not showing up again. He'll be at uh. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. He'll be at, uh, port... You're on. Tressler or whatever. Tressler. The thing above, right above New Babbage. Oh, yeah. I, I had him set a spawn point there. Now, what is this one? Uh... Bounty? Okay, we're doing a bounty. Don't have to do I mean, we could just meet him wherever then, I guess. He's giving us a mission. I'm near Babbage. Accepted. Mercenary called arms. Bounty. Is that the one in the evaluation? Yeah, he no. did a bounty. He did a bounty apprehension, evaluation, or whatever. But he's starting his bounties. Fair enough. Everybody gotta start somewhere, right? Hey, at least they give me it where, um. I, I don't have a mission waypoint. I don't think I do either. I don't have any waypoints, actually. 
Not giving me anything. All right. Looks like you're on your own on this one because we can't see it. Uh, y'all can just travel to me. Though. Every now and then, I need to. No, I just needed the tub. Uh, okay. Did it actually take? Let's go to a uh, station first, though, because I need to fix my head injury so I can see. Fair enough. It's very foggy. There we go. I, there's a bunch of black spots, spots on my screen. <laughs> Maybe you're actually... They call those dead pixels. <laughs> Should have bought a better monitor, dude. Discount rack's not always a good thing. No, no, I, my, my monitor is like $200 monitor. Not an expensive monitor, but it's not cheap. I mean... I don't know. I don't have a very expensive monitor. Mine was actually cheaper than $200. <laughs> But yeah. it doesn't have like G Sync or anything fancy either, so. 1080p. That's all it needs to be. Yeah, I, I got a 144 hertz or whatever, because with the old monitor I was on, it was only 60. Well, mine does the hertz things, but it's still 1080p. Yeah, same. I, I think mine's 1080p. Let's see. Uh, menu. Okay. Yeah, it's 1080. It's. Frame rate, yay. And... See, my PC says frame rate. No, never heard of it. Yeah, I've got a, uh, this 144 hertz and then the, uh, uh, 60 hertz monitor. Yeah. Minor ancient. Yeah, the monitor, the second monitor I have, it was an old office monitor. I get it for free. So. All I ever wanted was you. But you left me alone inside this empty, broken house. Damn, dude, you cooled out on this drive. <laughs> it, it's a fast drive, but it's got a long cooldown. Yep, that's the downside. Yeah. I wanted I can... something that would get me across the planet, planet, galaxy quick, but you know. No, fair enough. I forget what I put in it, but I believe it'll make the. Can... Make the Kelsey run in less than 12 parsecs. That's all that matters. He doesn't watch Star Trek, he doesn't get to watch it. I mean, Star Wars, not Star Trek. Yeah, no. I haven't watched Star Trek or Star Wars. But you play Star Citizen, that's... Yeah. I like space stuff. I would probably like the show, I just haven't watched it. In my opinion, watch Star Trek over Star Wars. Uh... Yes. I've watched... Watch the next like generation over everything, though, I think. Or Deep Space Nine. Like, if I had to, if I had to tell you one to pick, like, try to try the next generation and then try Deep Space Nine, and Deep it's just Space because Nine is a lot more action. Next generation is like next generation is more what Star Trek was. Uh, it's not so much what it is now. Uh, Deep Space Nine is more what it is now, but the newer stuff isn't even Deep Space Nine. It's like some Discovery and yeah. But I don't recommend starting with those. I start with the other stuff first, then go to the skip discovery. Actually, yeah, go to no, like Strange New cool. Worlds and Picard maybe. But <clears throat> if you like, if you like Next Generation, then go to Picard, or do the other stuff, then go to Picard. But generally speaking, Next Generation stuff I think is the better stuff. It's not that the new stuff isn't terrible, but some of it's just they doesn't feel like it cares enough about the stuff that came before it. 
and I don't care what people want to say about canon or lore or any of that stuff, fan service, call it what you will, but when a world is created, a universe is created, and some of that stuff gets kicked to the wayside or retconned for dumbass reasons, like basically someone just didn't want to rewrite a script, then there's problems. And we get a lot of those with the Star I Trek stuff. I believe I have a the XL1 in here, just cause looking at the stats of what it was. Um, which, you know, would make the Orson, or, or Crusader to Hurston um, travel in, like, two minutes. Yeah. So it's fast drive, but, you know. Just that cooldown, yeah. And it says it'll make it from, from Microtech to Arcorp in four minutes. Yeah, it's it's fast. It's what I have in mind. <clears throat> or the, the reclaimer that I'm using. Also, On the don't, PTA. Don't know if you knew this or not, but the Redeemer is a great ramming ship because it has more hull HP than an 890, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, actually, uh, do you know what else you can take out an 890 with, apparently? A C8. <laughs> Who found that one out? Um, my brother and or no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a. Uh, he took out the reclaimer. A C8 took out a reclaimer. Um, Ram it. Or? Yeah. He ran straight into it. He's like, it, we hear. Oh yeah, everything. Everything died. Um, I, I I've rammed a uh, 890 and survived with the redeemer. Right, but I'm just saying, if you want to take out a massive ship with one hit, just ram it with a C8, because apparently that thing is loaded with, like, C4 or something, because, holy shit. It did. He, I, I, we were in the Reclaimer, and out of nowhere, for science, he ran into us, and it just, boom, exploded. And we died, he died, everybody died. I was just like, what in the fuck, I, dude? I, I use the Aurora as a size 20 missile. That's Fair. all the Aurora is. It looks like a missile as well. It's just gonna wait till you get tractor beams and you can throw a fucking ship at him. <laughs> just load up the 890 with, uh, you know, ship small ships like Merlins or something like that, and just start chucking them at him. <laughs> oh my face! I, I jumped off the elevator as you went forward, and it launched me, and I fell on my face. That's hilarious. Lovely. Oh, I should probably. Oh, too late. I exited. I was say, I should make sure it's fueled. And... It's not my ship, though. I'm not paying for the fuel. <laughs> uh... You want me to grab the Cutlass uh, Red? So we can uh, have it. Yeah, a... it's probably going to be a little bit more efficient. Just I mean, th don't get me wrong, this is fun. If we need it, we have it, but. The Cutlass Red with the, the Med Bay is probably going to be a little bit easier so we don't have to keep coming back. It'll be here in three minutes. Wait, is there a place to land on Microtech to like... I mean, not Microtech, New Babbage. Yeah! Like... Wait, not the what? Ability, like, uh, on the commons area. Uh, there's a... Yeah, there's a uh, planetary entrance. I showed you it before. Surface yeah. entrance oh, by the promenade. I yeah. Pretty sure I just found it. Oh yeah. my gosh, I've been looking yeah. for this thing, and it's been right. Yeah, next you don't have to like call the spaceport and shit if you land at the promenade. Or, or, or if you land where the vehicle thing is, you can go in that way. That could have been yeah, bad. I just, hmm? just landed where the vehicle thing is. Yeah. Let me grab my stuff. Dig a ding ding, dig a ding ding ding, dig a dig a ding, dig a ding ding, dig a ding ding. How did I? When did I click F1? I did not click F1. It's random. It'll randomly pop up. Yeah. It will randomly pop up. Bug. Apparently been in there forever. Apparently. All right, let's ditch one of these guns. Ooh, my purple arms. Ooh, and they're heavy. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably have to say that the, uh, what do you call it? Or 
guess I look more pink now, but whatever. Oh, right, I was playing dress up on this character. <laughs> playing Barbie. Any red? Where's the red? Yeah, this guy's talking about you know he, he don't want to pay for a what do you call it expedite fee. So I'm guessing he's pretty poor. I'm gonna see who what his name is. See if I can't give him some money. Yo, yo man, put the money. Uh, or two. Hey, you, you wanna you want some money? I can give you some money so you can expedite your ship if you want. Welcome that much? to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Can you hear me? He's not gonna respond. He's like, this dude's talking to me, man. Huh? Fuck. Yo, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Welcome <laughs> to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Alright. Hey, 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 if you if want, you, want you were saying that, uh, you, you didn't want to pay for the expedite thing, thing or whatever, I can give you some money so you can, you know, get your ship a little bit quicker. Why not matter? We might be about ready to crash. Alright, 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 alright. Casually gives him 10 million. Nah, he said he had- I didn't get that much. He said he had 13 mil, he's just cheap. Oh. He's one of those guys. Yeah. I, I'm like, if you know, if someone needs some help, you know, I, I'll give them some help, you know, to get their ship. But, no, nah, he, he's just cheap. Yeah, it's. Yeah, there, there's a reason I have three Aurora MRs, is so I can just load them up and. <laughs> Torpedo. <laughs> I, also, I also have an Aurora LN. Ooh. Hangar 8. It's mine. Whatever yours is gonna be. I don't know where my cutlass red is yet. It's just sitting there smoking a cigar or something? Oh. <laughs> I wish you could lock in ships and like do a flight, like fly in a actual wing. That would be fun. Where's yours at? Four. Pawa. Pawa. If you want, mine's on eight, dude. You can go fly my cutlass. Go blow it up. I. Try not to blow it up. You can, like, but just if you need to. I miss <laughs> being able to spawn on pads. They Do used to spawn us on pads, but the reason they stopped it is because the people were getting pad ramped. Right, right. So, like, it was nice because of efficiency. You wouldn't have to call it. You wouldn't have to call a landing, or Fuck, you, you can know. fit. What does this fit? This fits like a. Yeah, you all fit a the, rock uh, in this. You could fit, you could fit a, a. rock. Uh, you can fit all cyclone? the cyclones. All the, oh, the cyclones fit. Nice. Yeah, you can't. Okay, the way you have to get a cyclops to fit or a cyclone to fit. You put it on the door it, and then close the door. That it is on the door a little bit, but you have to have someone in it, or else you cannot get out. You can. You can. You can totally do that. I bet. I, I guarantee you can. They're wide. Yeah, no, I, 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 I think you can. I think I think I can put it in there and show you how to do it. I think I've I've played with it a little bit. I think I got a way to do it. Right. <laughs> with a cyclone. I don't know that it's gonna be perfect, but I think it might be different with this one though, because you don't have the um the flanges on the side like I do on the black. I I might need to relog because of the uh I think we should probably both relog. Actually well, do a bed log there's here. Beds, yeah, there's beds can right we here. can we log in these beds? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I sat, not lie down. Yeah, let me lie down. Because lie down. This is my arm keeps going up in front of me, and... Yeah, well, I'm just sitting here just doing it. So, I'm gonna log out. And then I'll sit at the menu, and when you log back in, I should log back in with you. And then we should actually not be on Trestler, because that's a... If you log out on your bed inside the station, it kicks you out to the stand. In this particular build. Do I need to be on the persistent user menu? Yeah. I think that's how that works. And Are y'all gonna join back for me? Or yeah, you probably should log out too, though, and reset yourself. Yeah. I think it's best if we all just kind of log out. 
Because then we can resync in on the server or be fresh or whatever. Ideally, probably wants to recycle and close everything out and reopen it, but I think you can get away with just logging out, logging back in. Yeah. So exit to menu? Yeah, yeah, exit to menu. W what sucks is whenever 3.17.2 came out, you know, whenever they did that wipe, uh, since I had just joined the 3.17.1, I had just gotten my 8.90, and then like an hour later it wiped. It's funny. <laughs> Um, and then when you get in, uh, enter the game, or not enter, but click on Persistent Universe and go to the black screen yep. and sit and wait. And then when the leader joins, it should queue us all in automatically. Yep. Should. You don't even need to do that. You can sit in the main menu. Or oh, does it? Done. Okay, I didn't know if it would do it from the main main menu. I know it does it from here. So y'all is in the menus? All right. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, you're not? Yeah. Okay, well, oops. It'll be fine. He can just right click and join on friend. To make sure. I think it tries to pair you in, but if you don't do join on friend, then there's no guarantee. But I think. Um, crash in this build, I've even had it to where we can have a party full of people and it still will put us on a server where not everybody can get in. Yay. Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm sure. Like, that doesn't surprise me. My RS is crashed as well. Alright. I don't even know how that works. So that broke you. <laughs> And we are on a Drake Cutlass Red in the middle of Stanton. I love that whenever you turn the lights on on this ship, it turns a bunch of lights on. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I want the interdictor when they add interdiction. Yeah, look, if you look in uh, F4, or going third person, look at all the lights it turns on whenever I turn the main headlights on. Alright. Yeah, bed. Yeah. I want to get a fleet of these. I want to have like one of each, right? Or even more, even more than one of each. But I like, the, I've, the only one I don't have is the, the blue. I want the blue, because the blue is gonna have the interdictor and the bounty hunter cage. So. Yeah. There's just not really much use for it right now. So. Well, yeah, no, not until they add interdiction on it and uh, the bounty hunter. Capture I, stuff. I, I, ju I just got all the ones that you know how to use to them right now. Right. No, fair enough. Like the reds. So, I mean, I honestly would have liked to give up this cabin here and gotten more use out of it. Like, I think you could have removed the center bulkhead and pushed this up probably and then put a doorway here and made a modification and actually made more room in this. Joe, you know what I just realized? What? Docking port. Today's a Sunday. Yeah. So that means tomorrow's a Monday. You mean today? Because it's two o'clock in the morning. Oh well, yes, yeah, that means today's Monday. Mm -hmm. You know what else is today? School. Yes. Yeah. So you can actually roll the. What happened? Did you fall out of the ship? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let, let me go ahead. Yeah. And stop that. I just seen your name, and then it did what didn't. Um, I didn't see you. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I walked up to the back of the ramp. I was gonna show you where like the wheels and shit would end up on that ramp if you like did it right, and then it just yeah. like boop. Gone. I, I, I put it in there, you know, I can see the wheels and, you know, I, I've had it in there. I just haven't been able to get in the ship while it's in there. I don't think you can with the setup you have on this one. With the door, with the being narrow like it is. Because I, the one that I have, the, the black narrows and then goes wide. Yeah. And so you could do some weird stuff with that. Like you can pull it up on the door and like do a cockeyed thing so that it'll kick you out and you'll still be able to like walk around a little bit. Because you can you can get out and walk around, but well, you're stuck in between the wheels. Uh, also, though, if you do it right and you can like jump or get out and go to the top of it, though, it yeah. can push you up and then you can just like walk down the back side of it. I think is so, what I was doing with it. Um, so I'm gonna alt F4. Uh, no, I'm heading your way. Oh, nah, you're like two million miles away, dude. It's just easier to do this. I'll meet you. Are you gonna be on tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. What are you hopping out? Yeah, it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I have school. 
School days, school days. Yeah, yeah, we, we've got the school problems. I, I'm, you know, 15 and he's... I, I forget how old, I think 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't do ages here. We don't talk about ages. Just so that, you know. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Or dude. Whatever. I'm gonna stay on. I, I, I can, you know. I, I normally don't sleep, so. <laughs> That's. At least, you know. At least you figured that out pretty quickly. Yeah. My entire eighth grade year, I, uh. Ran off about an hour of sleep a day. That's pretty ridiculous. Mm hmm. Not gonna lie. I can do that a little bit here and there, but too much that makes me go crazy. I did that my entire eighth grade year. My eighth grade year was actually pretty nuts, like that, too. Not that crazy, but it was pretty nuts. I, uh. Is it my Some, eighth grade? So, sometimes I wouldn't go to sleep for like two days, you know? My senior year was pretty nuts. I was up all night talking to people, playing football, playing video games, working. Yeah. Like, I never, I don't, I literally I, don't know how I made it through my senior year in high school. That, that That's how I am my freshman year, this year. I've, I've got a job, I've, I played football, you know, gaming, yeah. Yeah, enjoy it. Live it up while you can. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Have you played Sons of the Forest at all? Nah, my kid's into that game and I just, I didn't like the first one. Ah, oh, yeah. Not that it was bad, I just didn't, it's not my, I don't know, it's not my thing. It's like he likes Elden Ring too, and I, I tried Elden Ring, and I just. Eh. I haven't I tried that, but I know a bunch of people who like it. It's good. Like, don't get me wrong, the game's fucking amazing, but I just, it's not. I'm not a Souls-like player. Like, that's just not what I do. I mean, I, I credits given where credit is due, but god damn it, I don't play those types of games, so. Just don't. I'm not gonna knock people that do, cause they're good games, you know. Yeah. I just it's not my uh not my style of game that I prefer to play. Please proceed to assign landing bay. I would rather play Skyrim, to be honest. I haven't that. played that one. R I've you, not you, played Skyrim. True. I mean your baby, but still that one's Everybody's I, played Skyrim I, by now. It's I, been I, I believe released. It, I, I believe it's the Elden Scrolls or whatever. I have yeah. it. Yeah. But. Yeah, I Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It. It's definitely. It's a single player time sink. You will lose years to that game if you play it long enough. And it's been out long enough that some people have actually played it for years. Um, like, they've probably got a year play time in it. <laughs> like, legit. Easily, the game's good. It, it really is. But most of the games that exist and have existed for the last ten years are pretty good. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't still be. In like the this one, I, I believe this one's getting close to being ten years old. This one's like twelve years old at this point, almost. Oh, it is. Yeah. Almost. I don't know. It's this one is um. Didn't it come out in, like, 2013? Well, the Kickstarter... Where'd you go? I, I went to... I quantum to New Babbage. I don't know where you went. I, I don't know where you were, so... Oh, you're New Babbage. I, I seen you were near this area. I didn't know exactly where... I was a Tresser. Okay. And I went to the Orbital. Then I see you. And also, they have a vehicle thing here, so I was gonna grab the. Title. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you don't want to land that shit at the. 
<laughs> at the bunker? That's how you get shot. That's how they oh, blow yeah. you up. Yep, buddy. Do you want to just bring a... I, I can, instead of bringing the Cyclone, I have the SVT or whatever, the bigger gray cat. That should be able to fit in here just fine. And it's a two-seater since he's not here anymore. Well, the thing about the one is it's got a cargo container. Cargo yeah, it's got a, the, the, this one. Uh, it has a cargo container in it, and it's also got a uh, two gun room slots. This SVT. Oh, okay. I mean, the Cyclone's got the gun slots and shit too. I just I don't know what the SVT is. Uh, I don't know if you uh, seen it, but they they released basically it's an off road version of the you know the little gray cat PTV. The little gray cat buggy. Talking about the Steve. Like the, it's looks like a, it looks like a little golf cart, a little white go golf cart. Uh, I've seen the golf carts, but I don't know if that's what I'm thinking of. It's, it's basically a bigger off-road version variant of it. Almost looks like a Jeep, square headlights, you know. That's the Steve, right? It's, it's called the SVT. I guess they people call, could call it Steve. I think they call it Steve. I think so, I don't know. I'm, I haven't read up too much on it. I just new, like the way it looks, but... so I I bought it. Pretty sure it's the Steve. In game, it's called SVT or whatever. That's you know. ST or STV, it's yeah, whatever. Steve. Yeah. STV, yeah. Something like that. I, I I don't pay attention to the name enough. No reason. Yeah, I, I just no know what I just no. know. I just know somewhat what it's called, and that's good enough. I'll leave that open. Yes, it's the STV. So, yeah, it's the Steve. The, the Steve's uh, just a personnel carrier, though, I think, is all it's supposed to be. Probably fits in your red, though, better. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I believe they were, they were trying to make it, like, the, one of the faster off-roaders. Well, the, it's, only got two, it's only got two seats. Right, and so does the Cyclone. But yeah. the difference is, is that you can hold a 1SCU container in the Cyclone. Yeah. It's like you can actually create a container by blowing up I, a vehicle. And then I you can put that container in the back. I don't think you like, can do that with the Steve. You, there is Welcome two cargo container spots Vehicle in the back of this system. thing. I don't know if it's like there it's is. not big ones, but you know they're they're two. It might be half SUs too, because that's a thing. Yeah, I think it is half SUs because they it is a very small container. Oh yeah 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 no because it's got the it's got the fucking drop down and it pops them out. Yeah okay I know what you're talking about. I think I yeah I think I watched a video on that one. Pretty sure I did. Are you out here? Uh, one second. Let me get out there. I'm a coming. I want to like put these side by side and see what they look like comparatively, so I can get some actual like scale between the two. I know this thing's a lot smaller than a cyclone, but it's a little bit bigger than the PTV. Well, I don't expect the PTV to. All right, crap. Wrong one. Cancel. So the, the issue here... Oh, it did work. The PTV it wasn't is tiny, though. Yeah, no, it's personal transport vehicle. I sounds like it would be tiny. I assume personal transport vehicle. Is that the RC, or is that the... Uh... Oh, this is just the regular. Yeah, see, yours is really tiny. Holy shit, yeah. dude. Like... All right, let's see how this fits up in yours. It'll fit, just, you know, wheels are kind of... Wait, somebody took off of my ship? Are you serious? I think so, or it disappeared. 
Because I spawned the fucking... Yeah, I don't know. You see what I'm talking about with how close the wheels are to the each side, though? Oh, this thing's got two things of storage? I didn't know that. I think it's got one up front as well. Damn. Oh, wait. Does it? Ah. No, that's the parts. Okay. Tried to get through, we'll let me. Uh-oh. We'll let you out? All right, back in the thing. Hang on, there you go. All right, I wanted to see it. Yeah, I think the only way for that to actually would to work would be from the sides you have to get like get up on the I, sides I, I love, and then I you have to that, back the door i love that you can do this with this thing though is it great oh. Here, look at this. Ooh, that was close <laughs> oh, look at this i can pop the hood on it oh that's that's fucking funny <laughs> and then the, i think you have the power supply or something like that there oh yeah no you could put in a shield generator and shit yeah, see if you and look, there's the there's the little half SCU boxes back here. Yep, that's exactly what those are. Half SCUs. Or like basically your ar armor cargo container. You create the box though by putting uh, a piece of that inside the Let's turn it around. Back it up in there. Oh. <clears throat> One back! Long bike. Should be good. So now technically though, funny, funny thing is you also don't need to give up all that space. Watch. You could oh. also just pull this up on the door. No, you're fine. Leave it up. Systems activated. Yeah. Systems on. Let me get it in place. Come on. There we go. Oh, is it not gonna actually work? There it goes. I, be I believe that PTV, you could actually even drive back in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go, and power down. There we go. Thank you. Now, what you can do with this is when you hit the button. It drops it down, yeah. So what you do is you figure out that sweet spot, and then you only need to do the, like, okay, so the red, red line up here, Ba or you can just basically put your or just like right on the fucking right. yeah right on the the hinge there and close oh. ah. <laughs> That's great. I, I think worked. you might be you might be able to put the PTV back in here oh wow yeah I could see hey, you I, I actually to... could fit a Drake in here Hand, I, I want to see that. I'm gonna go grab the PTV. I'm gonna you could fit a Drake in here, dude. Thank you. Hundred percent, you could fit a Drake in there. You could definitely fit one of the Noxes in there. Oh yeah. Let me go grab a Nox. Let's have some fun. Do some. Noxes get blown up though. They get blown up if uh, you take them into a base. So. Yeah. It's the downside. Why the wheeled vehicles are so nice. PTVs, that's. I have to look at the size of those. Those are. This thing, I, f I feel like we can put it back there, uh, you know, along with. Because this is basically the STV's little brother. Right. Of course. So, technically, though. Based on this, I think you could fit two Steves in here. Yeah. Yeah, I actually think so. I think you could put one on the ramp, and then one in the back, behind you it. Probably, you could probably fit like three of these in there. You easily fit two Steves, I think. Not, maybe not easily, just, but you just, fit. just in that back cargo bay, uh, not even in the cargo bay itself, but in the back further, I think you could fit probably like three of these things. Because... This thing is tiny. Look at this thing. 
I'm about to get me a Steve. <laughs> oh yeah, no, dude, that's that's jank as fuck. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, it does. It does. All right, where do I buy one of these? I want to buy one. I had to buy that online. I had to actually pledge that. Oh yeah, because this is new. This just came out. In the <clears throat> P, it may be in the PTU, but. It should be in the PTU, because it's not available to purchase in-game on the patch it comes out for. So if you back it up... You're a little bit further? Well, hang on. I want to see what it does if I put it here. Because it's in, it's in between the, the like the first red hashes. Let's see what it do. That might be the spot. Yep, that's the spot right there. Oh, uh, it disappeared. It's still there. On my end, you're gone. It's it's there. No, it's now it's there. Bouncing. It backed up. It, once it backed up a little bit, it worked. Yeah, so it's got to be on the hinge. Yeah. It's because the angle of the the vehicle, it's stupid, super steep. <laughs> and then look, you have this thing up here. So actually, I don't know, you might not be able to fit two of these in here because I think it's pretty tight. Yeah. Unless you could turn it sideways? <laughs> uh, this, yeah, you could definitely fit two of these in. Probably three of those. These well, I mean, if you got creative, you could, let me see, hang on, turn it sideways? Yeah, you could probably put it sideways over there, and you, you, these things can fit, you can fit so many of them. Just getting them out, like, imagine how many of these you could fit in mine. <laughs> just have them all sit the sideways, just blow up that side door the right Carrick, there. The, it used to be. Oh, the, dude. The, it used to be in the Carrick, you used to be able to drive it all the way back in the Carrick. And you could just completely fill the lower level of the Carrick with these things. It's fucking funny. They're just so small, and you know. Uh oh. Can you use the tractor beam on it? No, I wish, because that would make it that. If any, if you could, that was, would be my new favorite vehicle. Because It'd make it OP as hell. Yeah. Eh, come on. Not very <laughs> turnable. There we go. No, surprisingly, with how small <clears throat> it is, it's not very turnable. And also, you can't store anything with it. You can only transport yourself with it. Fair enough, fair enough. So it's just basically a hurry up and get shit done if you need to go get shit done. Yeah, but it's it, it's great. I love that little ship, or that little car. Now I want to see what the blue looks like. <laughs> if you want, we could go pick one up. I, I have enough money for one. Let's go. Let's go right, see what man. they look like anyways. Where do you get them from? Uh, I believe... Our corp. I I don't think I've upgraded this thing, so let's hope we can make it there. Cause that almost drained just from where we were. It almost drained all my quantum, so I need to go refuel real quick. But crazy. Also, don't know if you have it set up, but I also have a keybind to open up all doors, which kind of helps yes. out a little bit. Oh, oh, for the yeah, I don't have one of those. I made mine slash, and then also to drop item, cause sometimes you know how items don't like to drop out of your hand; they come like come back. Right. Whatever you place, I uh, drop item normally works for it. Good Which I made that, one. I made that, I believe, uh, apostrophe. There's and then also a handful of keys that aren't even used. It's and crazy. then also, you know, uh, for like calling the hangar, I don't know if you've done this, but I made mine F3. There's yeah. a keybind for it. Six. So F1, 2, and 3, and 4 are my main. A lot of stuff not being used on foot, actually. Alright. Why? Why is not used? These That's not surprising. used? That's surprising that Y and V aren't used. V. Well, V could get you in trouble, though. V yeah. has changed fire mode. If you made oh, V you something change. else, you'd like start I throwing I, I shit. I forgot down. about that. Y, on the other hand. Yeah, I don't get why. Y, y could be. It's 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 awkward. It's a little bit far, but if you needed a close button. That's not too bad. It's not terrible. Also, seven. Not being the unarmed combat and it being all the way down at zero is kind of funny. It's like, hey, we got these three buttons here that we're just not using, but uh, <laughs> fuck you, zero. <laughs> uh, 
No niin, no niin. Okei. Okay. threatened. Oh, right, that's... Yeah, I don't, I don't use my, um... Cutlass is enough. Like, they're honestly great ships. Oh, they're amazing ships for what they are. Like, this is actually pretty cool. Like, having the med bays in this, and then being yeah. able to take a Steve. Okay. The Steve, didn't like Steve it. keeps moving. <laughs> it, I'm it sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. It, it doesn't like being on the door, but it, it, it'll, it'll be fine. Well, that's where I fell through earlier, so I mean, yeah. that door is probably a bit wonky at the top. Yeah. Um, the ship's being a bit wonky, maybe a 30k? Uh, I can't enter with a pilot seat. No, 30k. I'm gonna go ahead and alt F4 just to refresh it. I always do after the 30k. So, yeah, but 30k is also, I think have a uh like a try to have a recovery thing so if you alt f4 it overrides the 30k protection i think no sure so if you go to the menu and then log out or log out but close the game and then f open it again it might not fuck with that but that's assuming it even works right yeah Sometimes i think there's supposed to be a 30k protection but it doesn't always work in fact most of the time it doesn't work the only time anything ever protects me is when I crash. If I crash and get the crash loader, then it like resumes me right where I was without any issues. Yeah, same. Be in the middle of a QT flight or something, it'll just like pop me back in and I'll be flying. It's like, why can't it do this any other time? Our citizen. There we go. All right. <laughs> Just took me right in. Yep. Follow you down. Let's see if it puts us back in the ship. Hope it probably and it won't, but you know. No, it will be back at Fort Trussler. Fort Trussler. Fort Trussler. Fort Fort. Whatever. Same thing. It it said New Babbage was where it's a current location, but we shall see. Well, we were at New Babbage, so yeah, it's probably going to put us in New Babbage. Drop us at the ground. I forgot we were there. Yeah, I took a break from this game for a while, but... People do. You have to, with the length of time it's taken it for to come out. And also, uh, considering I have, you know, most of the ships in this, and, you know... Right, yeah, no, obviously. There, there, there just wasn't really much to do, you know, and now I've got you know, user who just got the game, so showing him around. Got me back into it a little bit. I think the big thing with this one is having people to play. Like, yeah, that too. I used more... to have a... I used to have an... It was in an org that I had people on all the time. You know, like, five people on it at, like, all times. Right. But not after 3.17.2 came out, they just nobody played anymore. You kind of just, you know... That whole org is just nobody playing it. What? That's not supposed to be here. No, and I don't think you can push those, can you? Mm, no. Yeah, it says grip. Yes, on. you can. Someone probably put it there. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Don't smush me! Don't smush me! <laughs> <laughs> I just seen that thing start tumbling down the stairs right in front of me. I'm like, oh no. I learned something new today. A lot of something's new today, actually. I didn't know you could push these things. Also, the walkers you can also push if you're injured and you're, or if your leg's injured, it will help you walk. No oh, shit, that's cool. Here, hold on. Come right up here. Normally they sit, they are sitting around here, right at the entrance of this too. So it'll Somebody help you get up them all around here. though. Yeah. The same. Oh yeah, look at it. Here's the person. Here's the culprit. I see the culprit. Wait, where'd you go? Oh. I see the culprit on who's pushing him. <laughs> you see, look. You can grab the walker. 
I pushed his down the stairs, like, he's gonna be mad. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> They're kind of sketchy, apparently. <laughs> it kind of just killed me. <laughs> the walker just killed me, okay. Jake killed you too. <laughs> <laughs> so don't trust the walkers. I can't even see you right now, dude. It, it normally gives me back all my stuff. Normally, it should. It'll be in inventory. If you die in the station, yeah. If you die in a secure art armistice zone, yes. I knew the beds did that, but I didn't know the walkers did that. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Just randomly killed you. <laughs> There's a pharmacy right here. I didn't know that was here. Oh, that's too good. Don't trust the walkers. That's too good. Uh, that's too oh, it put me—it put me back up at the station, you know, space. Back where your spawn point actually. <laughs> Tressler. Oh, uh, lovely. I don't have. Do you have a uh, PTV or whatever? If so, I would spawn no. that in. What would I would have a PTV. Get that I don't even have a Steve. Oh. I don't even have a Steve. Not too many people do because it was, you know. That's true, though. It was a purchase thing. It was like, yeah, it was also 45 bucks a pop, I think. So. I got mine uh, for purchase. like. I think it was 35 if you got it on sale or something. 40. Uh, I got mine for like. Twenty dollars because I I think it was forty five to begin with, but I got for my mine for like twenty because I had a free hover quad since uh, someone used re the code or whatever I forget what it was or something I did something and it gave me a free hover quad, basically. Nice. Right. And I just basically upgraded that to a, uh, you know, what do you call it, the uh, STV, or the Steve. Right. Yeah. Which was definitely worth it. Yeah, I need to start watching some other Twitch streamers and trying to win some of these giveaways. <laughs> Get some stuff that I can burn and melt. Because they work really good for that. Well, yeah, if you pick them up, like, if you pick up new ground vehicles and stuff when they first come out, they're great bases for LTI um, burns. Hey, at least my Cutlass Red is actually here. CCUs, rather. My bad. Yeah, it should be here. It should be... It's up at Port Trustler. Yeah, it's gonna, should be, well wait. Why is it at Port Trustler? Because it was down here. I have no clue. No clue, but it's here. I'm not complaining about it. I wouldn't. I've heard I sinning didn't. is a sin. Sinning is a sin. What the hell? All right, I think we're gonna end up this, probably call this stream though. All right. I'm not gonna, I'm still playing, but I'm gonna end the stream. It's. I try not to do too much time. Oh, that's great. My STV is still in it. Hey, there you go. Sweet. Just come pick me up then. And my other thing. Okay, bet. Yeah, they, they saved everything other than... Many they times. Kinda, <laughs> that kind of scared me though a little bit. I lowered the ramp and it. Uh, I just see my car. Hey, there you go. That's all that matters. Now that could be the downside to that, though. I think you still have the ability to get up that ramp, so... Yeah. Yeah, I was Steve still able to with... I, I, was, I was able to get up the ramp. I'm curious as to what the blue looks like, though. Like, how the blue fits. I don't know oh, what yeah, the blue it, interior looks like. Yeah, like, what's the difference I, between I, the blue I believe, and the red? I believe it's the... I looked at it through the IAE. I believe it's the exact same as the red interior, except the... where the medical bays are, is the prisoner chambers, basically. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that's how it's set up, so uh, you should be able to do this same setup. Maybe. But. Right. You want to just go down to the vehicle bay or whatever, or where the vehicle thing is, and I'll just land down there and say, call on a hangar? Yes. All right. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Because I can just go right there. 
forgot that you could do that. Also, if you don't want to take the train or whatever, because I've had- You just go to the promenade. Uh, what do you call it? You can also, if you're at the, um, what do you call it? I can't forget the, I can't what it's called, the commons. Uh, the garage, the, the entrance there also has a garage so you can spawn in a small ground view. From the commons. Um, that actually... Can you actually buy the C8 red? I don't think so. You might be able to. If so, I'll buy one. I, I love that little thing. Well, I was just thinking about it because it's a nice little ship to have. And I went and I tried to find it the other day. And I couldn't also, find it. One thing that's nice about the C8, if you want to have guards patrolling your ship, if anybody comes in and tries to have trouble, basically what you can do is if you spawn in your C8, you can go land on top of guards and hangers and it will suck them up into your ship, into your C8, and you can go land in your Carrick and they'll kind of like walk or just walk around your Carrick. Oh, uh, you mean you just like scoop As, them up in the back? Yeah, yeah, you can just like land on top of them and it'll force them into the cargo bay. It's hilarious. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is very interesting, but it works. I mean, yeah, if it works. If it works. All right, here I am. An elevator does some funky moving. I just know it does some funky moving. Rescue nine twelve twelve. Let's go. No, oh, you lost God. your vehicle. <laughs> that was great. I took off a little bit too fast and it just. I'll end it again. So put the ramp up before <laughs> you yeah. travel away like that. Uh, it only matters if we have cargo though, and when the cargo refactor happens. So oh, that's funny though. <laughs> that was hilarious. I I just watched it slide out. I clipped I was it. I totally clipped it. Did I how literally did you, just move just, the whole ship? How, how did that little thing move this? Have you ever drove the Cyclone RC? No. That not thing really. is fast. It is the like. It also has a boost. Basically, imagine your Cyclone, but that one you had. But it's a little bit faster since it's the racing. Yeah. Plan. It also has a boost. Right. Ah oh, shit. It's too close to the doorway. <laughs> oh, did you fall out? No, 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 not yet. Good. I gotta drive the car a little bit forward. I'm hoping it doesn't like fling me. <laughs> yeah, same. You should be able to survive though. I've fallen from a pretty high height with the car. I'm not so much worried about that as just getting thrown out the back of the ship again. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a turret in this. You give up the turret too. Yep. I don't know if the the other one does, but we'll find out. Give up the turret for a toilet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's the best sacrifice ever, you know? Yeah, if you say I, I, so. I, 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 I've got s seven mil or whatever, so we should have enough to get it. If seven mil can't buy a cut loose blue, there's something wrong. Well, I mean, does the blue have the turret, though? I don't think so. You would think it would have the turret. That Well, that would be I, where the... Like, it's got a track... Oh, wait, the regular one's got a tractor beam. I'm, I'm, I kind of want to get the C1 whenever it comes out. Like, that'd be a... 
Yeah, I like the C2. The C2 is a freaking monster, dude. C2, yeah, but the, you know, the C1's more supposed to be on par with the Cutlass. No, I get that, but the, the point of the C2 is the fact that it holds three ships, or three ground vehicles, or a freaking whole fleet of Merlins, or, like, it, I don't know. The, the Hercules just seems like it's got so many things you can do with it, and then all the cargo, too, if you decide to just do cargo. I don't know. A lot of times, also... I just saw a red. Um, Ran so off, though, apparently. A lot of times, I wouldn't be worried about fighting a 890, but, uh, you know, I've made it to where I'm scared of fighting 890s because of something we've done with them before. <laughs> we took a C2 and loaded up Nova tanks into it, right? But then instead of just, you know, keeping them in there, we put them on the hangar bay of a 890 and went in a you know, then you just raised bounty. it up and let them sit there with the turrets and the Eddie. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That one shots most ships. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's basically like using the railgun from a freaking turret. You just raise the hangar up and you just see three Nova oh. tanks. I'm running from that 890. Because that thing, it, it, mean, it, doesn't, it means business. Well, and you could put one down on the bottom one too. Yeah. In it's the cargo hold and the top. Oh, God. That would be murderous. All right. <laughs> Most of the time, you don't have to worry about it, but it, you know that one chance that you have that 890 that you roll up on—it's scary. That's insanity. That is insanity. All and right. it also, you know, you have like the two million shield HP for the 890 that could protects them, plus you know also like the million HP of the 890. So, the ship itself is a tank. That's just insane. And Jesus. with how far out, with how how far out the uh, shield goes, I believe it would. I believe it protects the tanks. Should, if it works that way, I would think. Unless you yeah. could target the tanks individually and then shoot missiles, maybe, and those don't maybe get stopped. That would be something to yeah. check out, though. Yeah, but. <laughs> it, it's Give me scary. Give me a minute, I'm gonna mute you and end the stream. I'll be right back. All right, cool. So, yep, that's the end of the stream today, guys, gals, folks, peoples of all ages. We're gonna go ahead and we'll try to be back. We don't usually do Mondays, but we will probably try to do a Monday tonight sometime. Uh, if not tonight, maybe Tuesday and then some Wednesday to, because we didn't do anything this weekend, really, other than today. Um, we're gonna try to make it up a little bit during the week and see, get some new days in there to get some new metrics since we haven't done any of that stuff in a while. Uh, anyhow, go to the credits and we will catch y'all on the next go round, which tomorrow, Wednesday, Tuesday, possibly Thursday for sure. So, anyhow.
It must be bad news, sir.